Hello, welcome to Miss Talking University Radio Plays Cyclopean Foundations. I'm Ben. I'm Dan. And today we're moving on to scenario seven of the Beards Home Meme campaign with uh, Pyroclastic Flow. Uh, art features a volcano, so we're pretty excited. We assume there's going to be lava and maybe uh, like a lava dinosaur will come out of the lava. I don't know. That would be great. Um, it might just be regular lava that comes out of a volcano, but you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so last time we got eight experience as we traveled around on a, on a boat. A, um, you know, it was an imaginary boat, as in we had to imagine it, it wasn't actually in the scenario because the scenario took place at a bunch of different ports. But uh, some people were trying to frame us for, or slow us down with explosions and murders and stuff, but we convinced the authorities it wasn't us. Mm. Um, oh, no, that was scenario five. What am I talking about? What was Blood from Stones? Scenario six, we were actually, oh, yeah, we were trapped in the dome. Um, yeah, we did two scenarios last week. So <laughs> we were trapped in the dome in Singapore, and we had to uh, get out from under the dome So uh, by solving some dome puzzles in, in math. There was some math involved. We think we fought a lot of math mathmancers or something. It was pretty cool. Yeah, so both, both very cool scenarios. Uh, and now we are trying to stop Krakatoa from erupting, or it is or currently erupting, and we just have to go there anyway. I don't, I don't quite remember, but uh, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a good time. So uh, I guess let's look at our decks real quick. Um, what did I do? I think I had an experience banked, uh, so I ended up getting two studiouses and I grabbed a surgical kit, which is like a card from the Scarlet Keys that seems it's like it's supposed to definitely be taken by Vincent. So I put one in uh, to see how it plays. Uh, I think it might help. I think it's gonna result in every time I bandage Mark, Mark gets healed for two instead of one. And although I don't expect him to remain in that healthy state very long, I'm sure I'm sure he'll find some benefit to it. Look, so. Mark is processing a lot of trauma, and uh, I need you to be sensitive of that. I, I, I don't, I don't know if Vincent has a good bedside manner. I don't know. Does he look like a guy that has good bedside manner? I think he's probably just like. As long as you're not currently holding a giant bone saw, I think your bedside <laughs> manner is fine. I think if you ever actually get out the bone saw, suddenly we're I, gonna have some concerns. I think the bone saw is always like in visual in, in sight of any patient. Like it might be like on the wall it's like, or like it's like or dangling off of a shelf or whatever. Or <laughs> yeah, it's in like a giant like scabbard at your hip. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he's, you... he's holding it. He's brandishing it right in that uh, in that in that arc yeah. there. I'm also I don't. There's that. There's no way that saw fits in that bag in front of him, right? I certain. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, is your are both of the cameras working for you? Because I don't see your video. Uh, at all. Yeah. I, I, Great. So you just don't get to look at me, I guess. That's fine. Um. Yeah. What'd you do to your deck? Uh, it's yeah. It's really just kind of like cleaning up like the last couple things. I think I upgraded an overpower. Um, I put in one leveled up, one level three emergency cash, mostly because I desperately need money in this deck. Um, partially because I could also reload your bandages, I think, or your other stuff. So I'm sure we'll find a use for it. Um, and then I, I upgraded one enchanted blade. Um, the the upgraded version is nice because it draws you cards and it heals horror, which is cool, mm. but it's it's very inessential. Yeah, yeah, we're at like 46 experience now, so. I I plus, did plus briefly think that think given like how on. good agency backup is, I had a hard think about putting in a second copy. Um because we did have one game where that got wiped out by one of the RFG effects. Mm. And some you know, sometimes I don't manage to get it out as early as I'd like. So I, I had a I, I thought about that a little bit. I also thought about maybe playing a um what is it called? Calling in favors. Because I have like three pretty expensive allies, so there could be a lot of work to like, you know play calling in favors to like bounce Gret and play an agency backup, then motivational speech to reinstall Gret or something. Yeah. But it also, I, it's a way to heal them and then replay them. So yeah, I, exactly. But I, we have enough other ways to do that. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I think you could, you could go that direction with this deck and it would probably be good. I just don't really feel like tacking in that direction at the moment. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll see what we have this scenario. Maybe the last couple of experience and go towards one of those things. So uh, let's look at the story text and get, in, and get going on this. So, Scenario 7, Pyroclastic Flow. With the cult's destination known, you scour the Singapore harbor for any ship willing to take you to Krakatoa. 
With the travel warning and the worsening weather, you have difficulty finding any ships ready to leave port, much less travel to the Sunda Strait. After several increasingly desperate hours, you finally meet a weathered fisherman named Sukumen, who agrees to hear you out. The old Indonesian man play, pays close attention to you as you speak, but seems to study you more than the words study you more than the words you say. You offer Sukumen as much as you can, but he simply holds up his hands. Uh, you must truly be desperate, or perhaps a fool, he muses. Eyes still locked on you, but I trust that Almighty God has sent you to me. I will help you. What a guy. Uh, you waste no time in casting off from Singapore, setting immediate course for the Suda Strait. The days in transit give you time to prepare yourself and Sukumen for the ordeals ahead. It's difficult to summarize your goal without sounding like a crackpot theorist, but the fisherman responds with a troubled look on his face. There are a great many things in this world I do not understand, but I understand the sea above all else. It has been a companion to me through many long voyages, and I know its rhythm and swell like I know my own heartbeat. Its rhythm has faltered. Sukumen pauses brow furrowed in concentration. Only once before have I seen it falter. Years ago, when madness struck the artists of Singapore, one drowned himself in the harbor beside my boat. I can still remember his, expre his expression. It was the same as yours when you first approached me, only filled with despair. The madness stopped at the same time that the sea regained its rhythm, but I never forgot. That is why I've agreed to help you. You know what has affected the, re the sea, and you mean to stop it. Again, I trust that God has brought you to me for this task. To return the seas to normal, and perhaps much more. You stand hey, beside. I just want to say, would would it really be that bad if we sounded like crackpot theorists? Like a, <laughs> a crackpot theorist is not the worst thing to be, right? <laughs> Have math mathematicians in the past been labeled and branded as crackpot theorists? It's it's your... been a problem. It's been a problem for a long time. <laughs> uh. Well, uh, you stand beside him in silence, contemplating his words and the burden that lies on your shoulders. Preventing the rise of Cthulhu was not what you signed up for when you accepted uh, Weecliff's offer nearly two months ago. But the stakes are clear. Stop the architects or the world will be embroiled in madness. A sudden gasp from Sukiman rouses your attention. He points ahead to the sea before the ship. Unmistakably, the horizon is bending. Ooh, all right. Pretty cool. Um, I think I set everything up. We have way more than 17 notice. We have uh, 24. So we definitely have the countermeasures on here. Wow. And I set up the voyage deck. Not sure that will come into play, but I'm, I'm sure I we'll mean, see I mean, knock on wood, the countermeasures, they, they, they're they cool. It's a cool mechanic. So far, the main way that they've hurt us is that they're very difficult to remember when they're active. <laughs> so, you know. I think, I think they might be more interesting in like a campaign where you have like multiple of the same investigator because then they're like hard to get rid of and you have to interact with them more. Yeah, and they, they affect everybody. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the, to be clear, they're not like trivial. It's just that like they're they're quite manageable usually. So. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do opening hands. So I do I did get studiouses, so I can do uh, seven cards now. And, oh, bone saw. Do I keep the bone saw? Nope. Uh, you know... <laughs> I think I could have bone saw turn one, Dan. I could even I could even use your vigilant. You know, it. you know what? As fun as that would be, I'm not sure it would be optimal. And also, <laughs> especially from a safety perspective, right? Uh, I think I, I think I just yeah, keep these two, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's that's pretty right. Uh, all right, decent. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, okay. What do we got? Nope. Uh, nope. Yes. So, definitely mulling the, the sword and the daring. Um, mm. So, the speech I might keep only if we... Or, the speech I would probably only mull if we think that we need to hit enough assets for Ever Vigilant. But you've so you've got three. Four, I, actually. I have four potential assets. I don't have enough money to play them all, but... Well, um... but we, there's the stand together coming, too. Mm. Right? And even... I mean, even with these, like, you could play um, Bandages and yeah, Jessica yeah. and Pathfinder, right? right. Yeah, so I... I... Or so yeah, I, I, could, I could play these three, and then you could you so could get, I, get I Jessica will, out with. I think I am going to keep the speech because as soon as I get an ally, this basically lets me play it. Okay. So, uh, all right. So I'm just smelling two. Feels weird. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. Um, should I go first so I can stand together and ever vigilant as as we usually do? Ye... For a second. I guess actually first we gotta look at where we oh, are. Oh yeah, let's uh yeah, we gotta read the uh agenda in the act. Uh, agenda one, slow slow burn. 
The glow of er emerging magma dots the disjointed horizon. The cult's work has begun, and already Krakatoa's new volcanic islands are being thrust upward and about like popcorn kernels. Your approach to the center of operations will be all the more hazardous now. Sukuman grips the steering wheel and shouts at you to get on deck. He'll keep you on course provided you can repel the cult agents and act as his spotter through the warped seascape. At the end of the round, if there are no voyage cards in play, reveal the top card of the voyage deck. There are six cards beneath Sukuman's ship advance. So we're actually on a boat now. The promised vote scenario that was foretold, foretold uh, two, two series ago is finally here. Uh, the fisherman's ship is light but sturdy, meant for long voyages through Indonesian waters, and able to be cr uh, crewed by very few. Uh, while, there's enemy while there are enemies at Sukuman's ship, it gets plus two shroud. The investigator would be forced to move from Sukuman's ship, and there are no connecting locations in play. The investigator takes two damage or loses an action. Choose one. All right, and then we got the intrepid captain. After a card is moved beneath Sukuman's ship, exhaust him to look at the top two cards of the encounter deck or any player deck. Return them to the top of that deck in any order. Any investigator at Sukuman's location may activate his, this ability. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, looks like, unless I miss, forgot to place a card out. Let me double check. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Nope. Okay, so we don't start with any, we don't start with any voyages in play. So I guess, Okay, I guess we only have them one at a time um, from here. Okay, so I guess, yeah, I guess this is just a setup turn. It's not anything we could do. I don't see yeah. a way to force us drawing from this deck, so. Uh, okay, cool. So, so the only reason I was thinking to not... Yep, the beard, the beard confirms. Yeah. I, I could go first and just, like, Click for buddy three times or something get that be able to play more expensive stuff but uh well i mean keep in mind you are getting the stand together right yeah i like ra i'd rather play these three things than bandages okay. but or unless you're gonna let me play um, jessica with uh speech well, or something but, uh, but 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 wait a minute so you're getting out i mean you have five with stand together you'd have seven ever vision would basically give you three so you could play these three Oh, yeah, it right. saves you one off of each one, right? Yeah, you're right. Go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm glad we got that figured out. Um, Just, all right. So I, I thought it was one of your crazy uh, crackpot mathematician theories. See, but, you, you give know. Ben, you give me <laughs> shit for not playing like support cards, and uh, I just want you to know, I do when it's optimal. I play, I play support cards when they're good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, all right. So I, I mean, I guess you did your stand uh, together. So yeah, like two, I will play Ever Vigilant. Um, okay. So I think, so you want to play those three things, right? I mean, I don't have to, like, if you want to play Hall of Mirror instead, but otherwise, I'll, um, I'll definitely play them. Those are all good things, so. Well, okay, so I'm definitely playing the sword, or the, the gun, rather. Yeah. So the gun gun's definitely coming out. Um, I think I would almost, I guess, the, I guess the thing is, like, I either let you play three things, or I let you play two, and I give you the motivational speech, probably. And I think I would kind of rather, I would kind of rather hang on to the motivational speech. So I okay. think if you want to play, if you want to play um, three things, that's fine with me. Okay. Um, yeah. Also, I, I'm wondering if Pathfinder is good at the beginning of the scenario because I don't know. It seems like we're going to be on a boat for a little while. I, that that occurred to me as well. Um, so I'm debating whether I want to actually play that now or maybe play it later when I actually can use it. Um, I would maybe just play the bandages. Yeah, so I'm going to play... That, I'll play yeah. Jess for two, Totem for two, and bandages for one. Because uh, so you'll be... have enough for Pathfinder next turn if you need it. Right. That's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then I think with my last action, I think I'm just going to play Helimir. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, no clues to get this. So this turn, so I'm wondering if I should just draw and maybe see if I can find something I want to play more. Um, what do I want to play? Like magnifying glasses or circle pit or something. Yeah. So let's draw. Let's draw at least once. Crack the case. Not helpful right now. Do I want to play this compass for any reason? I feel like the answer is no. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think you want to play the compass. 
Are there any healing I can do? No, I don't have any healing stuff right now. Alright, why don't we... Guess let's draw one more card. Oh man, another totem. Hmm. All right, I'm looking at money. I, I'll, I'll I think getting a second totem yeah, might be pretty good. Yeah, was, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so upkeep. Oh man, if only there was a window to also play the magnifying glass, but no. I, I think know. We, right. uh, or if only you had a useless card that you could easily throw well, away. From. I mean, this is two in symbols. I mean. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I might ditch the. Have you ever thing. played Lucky this campaign? Uh, like once or twice. I, I, I mean, the, the moment you those. throw it away, you'll immediately wish you hadn't. But I mean, the, the luckies are there to like, be backups until I get uh like the book online and the healing stuff online. Oh, I forgot to heal Jessica and get a card. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess <laughs> I guess in that case, uh, I think I might I might just discard both of these. That <laughs> um, yeah, that seems fine. To, yeah, uh, we have been pretty mean to your story as it's <laughs> the beard, but um. I mean, they have good symbols. I don't know. I, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if these ones work as well as I want we, them to. We, in my we deck, just so. look. We have very high standards for for story assets. Yeah. We're, we're jerks about it, you know. Uh, I mean, I have, I can, I can play one of them, but later, like, I might play the ring if we have hidden cards in this scenario. If, if I draw that. All right. So end of the round, uh, discard stuff, and then we have to draw. That thing happen. Reveal the top card of the voyage deck. Where right. are we going? We got the Displaced Reef. Oh, that's really cool. All right. right. Put it into play. Oh, it's like in the sky. Dope. All right. Um, uh, so this is... Okay, so this is connected to the ship. Okay, so Pathfinder is immediately good then. <laughs> um, uh, oh, this yeah. is connected to the ship. And... Also a good place to crack the case. I guess that... How do we move it underneath? You do that. Oh, okay. Thing. You, you spend the boost. Yeah, so we can take a horde, draw an extra token, and we can spend two clues to do that. Okay. Yeah, it is a good card to get place too. And, right, I, and cool. I guess it's it's important to note. I think that we we can't. So we have to get six of these locations, but we can't. If there's one that we don't like, we can't like cancel it somehow. We have to do the first six that come off the deck. Yeah, there's only six in the deck. Two, two. There were two. There were two cards that were randomly removed. Uh, okay. I should note, like, three of them are locations, and three of them are treacheries, so... Um, okay. Okay, so we're, I get, yeah, it's kind of like we're forced to do six turns here, unless unless we see a way to accelerate it, so... Okay, uh, I don't remember if I sh shuffled the encounter yeah, deck. That's fine, like, it's, you know, they probably wouldn't go much faster than that anyway. Yeah. Alright, uh, first Doom, and I got Clouds of Ash, ooh... Attach oh, it to no, your location. At the end of the round, each rescue at the attached location takes the damage or places one of their clues in their location. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, discard a cloud of ash. If you fail, discard a clue. Okay, so. We probably do need to get rid of that just because it's on the ship, which yeah. is where we're going to be all the time. But I, I can probably do that. Okay. Remember, if there's an enemy here, the shroud is increased by two. There is an enemy here, but I will probably just kill it first. Okay. Uh, um so what i'm i think what my turn is going to be is kill this kill this deep one try to get rid of the clouds of ash and then um play something so i'm I'm assuming that you can handle getting those clues i will yeah i'll, I'll sort of I would, try i would kind of like I, I would ideally i would love to be there when you crack the case but i think that's not going to be convenient which is fine i do have i, I have some money already so uh yeah unless you can follow me i don't know if you're gonna and, get and you well, also, I, you need a bunch you need well, a bunch I mean, of I, I, and totem anyway i could shortcut you up there too if you're really if you really need the money but no you know because you can use it you can use it to play you should play like the totem in pathfinder so. yeah okay yeah okay so uh should i go first or do you want to go first uh anything preventing me from leaving right now no i don't think so right okay uh, uh i yeah. guess well, i yeah I, i'll just i'll just go first i don't okay. think it matters okay. um all right, so I'm going to shoot this uh, horrifying fish man, and I'm going to use Practice Makes Perfect off of the stick to the plan. Search for nine cards. Um, I'm going to take uh, Vicious Blow. 
actually. Yeah, I'll take the vicious one. The overpower would be nice, but I just I don't want to shoot him twice. You know, I want to kill him one hit. So, um, all right. So we've got seven plus two is nine, or five plus two is seven against four. Um, I will also take a moment, even in the midst of all of this horrifying, chaotic, volcanic, uh, whatever it is, to uh, remember my my lost life partner Sophie and the, the you know what? times we had together. I actually got new bandages for you. These ones have little happy faces on them. Oh, so I'm gonna go ahead see, and uh, give you one of those so you can heal one. Do you have a, Do you have Batman band aids? I remember my uh, mom telling me that uh, Batman band aids were the I don't, best when I was a kid. What's a Batman? You know, uh, is that that's true? Batman. God damn it! Batman <laughs> won't be won't be invented for another ten years at least. Uh, okay, forget forget I said anything. We don't okay. want to cause a time paradox. All right. Yeah. Um, so did you bandage me for two or for one? No, just just for one. Um, okay, that's bit... great because I want a soothing melody later. Okay. Anyway, so. <laughs> Um, all right, so that was um, so I'm now up at nine versus four, and I succeed. So this guy dies, and I get the vicious blow to hand. Um, and then I'm actually just going to get out the agency backup, but but I'll, I will try to get rid of the um, I'll try to get rid of this first. So clouds of ash. So uh, investigate, commit on the mend. And uh, that gets me to four versus two. I will also use Sophie again um, to get up to plus four. I can bandage you again. Unfortunately, you don't, you don't get down the men back, though, because it wasn't... Uh, oh, but... too bad. Um, all right, so that gets rid of the Clouds of Ash. Okay. And then last action, I will make a extremely motivational speech to convince the FBI to be on my team. All right. And that's it for Mark. Cool. All right. Um, these are characters, right? Didn't even check that. <laughs> yeah, the, the FBI that were here the whole time. Uh, they, right? they were in a canoe paddling alongside uh, a stealth canoe. Uh, all right. So I'm going to. I think. I think the. I think I play Pathfinder. Use it to move, and I'll play Totem. After that, probably. So. Uh, with the craft case money. So I'll play Pathfinder for three. Then I'll use it to move up to here. Uh, and then I'm going to practice makes perfect. Try to get uh, something. Um, perception or deduction. Ooh, difficult choice there. So the, I mean, the deduction means I get it back and I can, I can really pump the gas, but they're, I don't know if, I don't know if I need that much clue collection early on. Perception gets to draw two cards. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, because you only need two from here, right? <laughs> yeah, so... I would I'd probably oh. take the perception. Like, if I didn't need to do that third damage, you know, if I, if I wasn't yeah. worried about wasting ammo, you know, I wouldn't have gotten the vicious blow. Yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards. So perception, so that gives me... Uh, I'll commit... Uh, I'll add a symbol to it, so I'm not, like, a lot nine or something yeah uh cultus is minus three so i succeed by two great uh so i draw two cards another, another pathfinder um get one clue and then um commit on the mend uh which puts me at seven and seems fine right yeah Tablet is minus two. Okay. Uh, if you fail, something happens. Cool. All right. So I got the last clue, and then I will crack the case, get four money, and then end of my turn, Jessica heals, and I get uh, on the end back. All right. Cool. Uh, when does oh do I do this thing immediately to move myself back? Uh, spend clues as a group. Is there any reason for me not to do that right now? I think, I think no. Uh, no, you should totally do that now because yeah. we, we want to get a new location, right? Uh, oh yeah, because it doesn't draw, right? Yeah, okay. So I yeah, like do we that. like we want to try to do each of these in one turn if All we right. possibly can. I'm gonna because because tailor similar is annoying. I'm just gonna flip over the stuff that uh <laughs> we that we've taken and put it down here. So that moved it under here. I spent two clues. Okay, and then I just did this during some. Fast window during enemy phase or upkeep. 
Mm -hmm. And but because we moved under here, we can trigger this thing to look at the top two cards of one of our decks and rearrange them, or do the encounter deck. So uh, I mean, we we know from playing Gloria that doing that on the encounter deck is pretty yeah, powerful. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I'm leaning towards. So let's I guess yeah. let's look at those two cards. Uh, we flip. Uh, without even looking at the first one, I'm assuming flipping them is better, so you get the enemy. Uh, what was the location of that cover? Uh, we cannot move to the attached location. Okay. Well, that, I feel like this is the correct order, right? So. Because yeah, because it, well, it's going to surge, right? The spatial ward. Uh, why does it surge? Oh, there's no connecting uh, locations to play. Yeah, I mean, it might it might surge because we we haven't I haven't done this yet. We haven't drawn oh, any yeah. cards. So there might be another location. Oh yeah, no, you're right. So right. so either I draw it and it doesn't surge, or I draw it and it surges and I get the enemy anyway. Yeah, so. I mean, giving giving me the enemy seems seems fine. All right, upkeep, uh, doomed, and oh, sorry, the round ends first, and then so we get the top card here is. Oh, myself it is not a location put coiling waves into play next to the act deck and add two clues to the sukuki man ship okay um cannot leave play except through the fast trigger ability on it at the end of the investigation phase there's any clues on sukuki man ship we discard the top three cards of their deck or your deck and spend two clues to get rid of it okay okay so we just have to investigate the ship yeah, basically. So right. I'm just going to leave it there. Cool. All right, so I added the Doom already, and we get an encounter card, but we know what it is already. So this will surge because there's no connecting location. So I get the enemy, and then uh, you get the encounter card. Oh, you also got an enemy. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, um, uh, yeah. This is pretty annoying because this, I mean, yeah, like if you commit stuff to this guy, well, if you commit stuff before he dies, you basically lose it, right? Like, uh, can I can I commit a vicious blow, kill this guy, and not have the vicious blow get RFG'd? Yes. Okay. Because he he uh, gets he gets defeated before the cards you commit enter your discard pile. Okay. So if... in that case, my plan is to vicious blow my. I guess actually, just to be safe, I'm gonna shoot my guy, agency backup ping to kill him. And then I'm going to vicious blow your guy. Okay. Uh, well, no, because it's better to it's better to risk RFGing the vicious blow than to risk hitting you in the face with the vicious blow. Actually. Well, so the, I will... the vicious blow doesn't increase damage when you fail. Oh, you're right. okay. Yeah. So, so then I will do it the way I originally said it. Um, okay. Does that sound okay? Yeah. All right. Um, so I will click one. I will uh, shoot the lucid worshiper that I've got. So it's five against three. I will um, use uh, Sophie to boost it by one. Uh, Would you I like use, to bandage? I can use my last bandage charge to heal you. I don't have a super strong feeling about it, honestly. It just I guess the question was, were you going to play this cash on me at some point to refill bandages? Or... Yeah, I can I can do that at some point. Probably not this turn, because this turn I'm probably yeah, well, going to Well, bandages, bandages discard themselves when they run out. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so I have not I have more bandages. I got it. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, fine. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. There you go. Here's okay. a here's one of these things. Hooray! All right, so <laughs> I'm up by four, which is enough. Um. Okay. All right, so this guy takes uh takes two, and I will uh, use agency backup to kill. Him. Okay. Uh, click two. I will shoot your guy, and I will commit this ambitious blow. Um, so I'm at, uh, I'm at seven versus three, and I only need to succeed by two, uh, or no, I only need to, I don't need to succeed by two at all, because I only need to do three damage, so this should be fine. Oh no! Oh, all right. Oops. Sorry, Bill. Well, that's fine. I put two damage on Jessica. Um, that's very inconvenient, though. Um, mm. well, so what I can, I can attack again, but that will only do two damage. I mean, I I can on the mend and lucky and punch him. I do have three base fight or four fight because of Jessica. I think so, that I think that so. probably is what we should do. So, because if, if you don't have a way to do a third damage, that I mean, what else? Um, 
I don't unless no. I mean, there's a lot of cards. Like if I could, if I had the uh, uh, inspiring presence or something, but I don't have a way to untap uh, agency back up. Oh, I can punch him. This should be okay. Okay. All right. So in that case, I'm just going to. I used another bullet, so I'm going to shoot your guy, and I'll even I'll even commit this on the end. I guess. Uh, no, I won't. I'll keep it. Um. No, I will. I I will commit it. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm up by four. And okay. Yep. Zero. Two, two damage. Okay. Yep. All right. Sorry about that. That's. That's all right. Sometimes it happens, need, you, but you know, in the you, future. If you, if you need combat symbols, I do have some. So let me know. Okay. Um, so I'm at, yeah, the shroud here's only a two, right? That should be easy. So, yeah, so I'm at a four, um, I can, I can just come in on the end and grizzly totem it to be at a, a seven, unless you're, uh, desperate to commit things to me, but, uh, really. okay. Uh, cool. All right. So I kill it. Nice. And I draw a card off of grizzly totem. Oh, did I forget to draw a card off grizzly totem last round? Yeah, whatever. Uh... Too too late now. All right, and then I'll investigate. Uh, I will. How should I... how... we definitely want to get both clues this turn, right? Something bad happens yeah, if we don't. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, if we can, yeah. Yeah, we can. I just uh, don't don't have uh, one. To... I want to try to get a second grizzly totem out somehow, but not this turn. All right, perception puts me at a eight or something. Okay, draw two cards. Uh oh, psychosis. Uh, get one clue, and I go again. Uh, oh, I have percept. I have the parcel over it. We forgot about that. I will wipe that next turn. Um, I'm gonna commit, so I'll just do it five versus two. Great. Um, all right, so I got both clues, so I can immediately do. Uh, it's. Is there any reason should I crack the case here for two? I feel like no, unless you desperately need money. Uh, I don't really need it immediately, so. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I guess I have to discard a card this round anyway. Yeah. Um. Okay, and then I'll spend the two clues to do this thingy, and then we want to look at the encounter deck. Sure. Okay. Boy, we got we got this thing. I thought about putting Dust of Wills in my deck. I was like, nah. Um, this is an aloof guy. So I guess who um, really doesn't want this actually, to happen? I would actually, I would sort of like the yeah yeah because that way I can play second wind, and you know, mind trash and three cards. Uh, what's well, we're we're just gonna either of us can do it, right? It's because at the end of the round, like one of us is just gonna get rid of it, right? Uh, oh, at the end of the round. Oh, I was thinking of the other one. Okay, yeah, someone just gets rid of that. That's fine. I get, the main issue is neither, probably neither of us can get to 10 cards in our discard pile, I would guess. But that's okay, we just, uh... It's it's will four. Like, yeah. if I commit... If I commit stuff, I can do it. Yeah, I, I probably can do it, too. So, okay, so yeah, you want to okay. draw that, and I can draw the enemy? Yeah, because I'll just ping it off you. Well, it's uh, aloof anyway. Yeah, so. exactly. So Okay, yeah, so you, you draw it... Because um, it, it spawns on us, right? It doesn't spawn like yeah. There's no one. It uh yeah. Well, it spawns a location with the lowest shroud. So if, okay. if we draw a location, Probably pretty good chance it's on yeah. us. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, did I press the peep bone yet? I did not. Oh man. Uh, all right. Well, do I think? Do we think I need two pathfinders in this scenario? Um, seems like no, unless the second agenda or whatever is like our second act is different. But you could always just draw it again. I mean, I don't have that much crazy draw, but I guess... I mean, definitely check out the tarot card. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I got to get rid of one more thing. I mean, I could get rid of Lucky first or something, but, you know, like having that in the bank. I wonder seems okay, because as long as you think or, you can cycle your deck, which with two totems out, you probably can. Yeah, I mean, or Shortcut, but... Uh, no, either, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> get rid of Shortcut first. Yeah, probably. Shortcut, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because eventually it'll just follow around everywhere. So, okay. So, uh, end of the round, we draw another uh, voyage deck. Oh, we got a of water. Hall of water. Um, looks like the same deal. There's two. If we we have to get the two clues off the ship. So. Okay. 
Yeah, it's funny. This is actually um, reminds me of horror in high gear a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, we're like things we're trying to travel and things are coming at us. Yeah. Yeah, which which works because that's a that's a good scenario that we like. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, Doom happens. We're at three out of seven. And I drew an enemy, so he will spawn on us, but he's aloof. Um, and then oh, no, we get, treachery. Yeah, why don't we put that here so we don't forget about it. Uh, okay. Okay, um, so... So what I'm, what I'm kind of planning to do is, like, um, second wind, get rid of the treachery, and then probably stand together. Okay. Did Does you that want... sound... Yeah, it seems good. Did you want to ping this guy during Mythos phase? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she did. Okay, so during Mythos phase, I will ping this guy and draw a card. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can go first, and then I'll... Uh... Okay. Oh, I, <laughs> I actually, it's too bad, because what I drew off of that was a scene, so I could have just got both of these with that. But you can you but can get them, so... I'll, I'll get them, it's fine. Yeah. All right. So I'm actually... Uh, even though this makes my TTI a little bit worse, I will first click Second Wind um, to draw a card and heal two. Oh no, shell shocked! Um, and you, you healed first, so <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I don't even take the horror. It's, it's heal, wow. heal two, then draw. So. Wow! Wait, well, wait, what what a magnificent weakness that is. <laughs> um, all right, so click two. I will do the test on ya ya. So I have uh, seven in my discard pile. So it's test will four. My base is three. Um, I'm going to... I actually wish I had an on the mend. Um, so I will commit TTI, which is plus two. So that gets me up to five. And then additionally, I will think about Sophie. Um, so that gets me up to um, seven against uh, four. Do you have like one will symbol you don't need? If not, I can check the shortcut. No, not really. Okay, I'll I'll commit the shortcut. Okay, so I'm up by four. Okay, okay so it goes away. Okay, cool. Um, and then uh, last click, stand together. Sound good? <laughs> uh, you yeah. have too many cards. <laughs> no, that's fine. I, I, some of these are about to go away. Uh, I was laughing at the beard's joke about Sophia. <laughs> or right. Sophie. Um, uh, okay, so um, I need to draw two cards. Oh man, those are good cards. Nice. Yeah, well, very, very, very good cards. I just I have a lot of assets. Can you psych you a deck and get ever vigilant <laughs> back? <laughs> uh, we're working on it. Uh, working on it. Okay, so you can, well, here I got one asset you can play pretty quick. Yeah. So yeah, I'll give you that. Nice. I think I think I'm probably gonna end up cracking the casing for two buddy because. Can I immediately give one to uh, give one to Jessica? Oh sure. Um, nice. and then yeah, yeah, that that seems fine, especially if you give it to me. Yeah. So let me think. So I I'm probably gonna play one asset this turn, but I think I think I should play Grizzly Totem, practice its purpose, and maybe get deduction and just use it to get both clues and then <laughs> play another asset. <laughs> um you think... well why why play grizzly totem first because you can't oh you can use both on one yeah commit, right that would be the <laughs> idea so then i can yeah, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Go for it, yeah all right so it cost me three you cover up your uh, thing what it's one of my relic hunters uh, um, um and then i will practice make perfect for one and search the top nine cards of my deck uh see, i can also get perception again but i don't i don't think i need that <laughs> um all right and shuffle those in and then i'll yeah i'll double i'll double i'll go double down on this so i'm at uh nine yeah nine versus two wow god damn it <laughs> god god was not with us uh <laughs> <laughs> Suka what, what did you do to piss him off? Uh, all right, so that didn't work. Um, That's brutal. Yeah, really, really rough. So I can't get both these clues now. Um, I, mean, I, I only one action left. So. You... Oh wait, I have an inspiring presence. If you do a test and I succeed, I can pick up one of them with the agency backup. Okay. Oh, if I can succeed, you, yeah, if you get one clue. Okay. I mean. Yeah, 
I'll commit uh, on the mend. I'm at seven versus two. I don't, I don't even need to commit on the mend if you're committing uh, that, right? It gives me plus one, so I'd be at six versus two. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'll keep it then. Uh, eh, whatever, I get it back anyway. Uh, okay. So. Nice. Right, so I get one clue. Okay. And then... I pick up the clue with H to back up. Okay. And then we immediately spend the clues to tuck this. And we can look at the top two cards of the encounter. And I also crack the case. Which one? I mean, I do have these. I do have a bunch no, of stuff you, to play. You should. You should. We should at least split it. Or honestly, you can take it if you want. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take it unless there's stuff you really need it for. But. Yeah, seems, uh, seems fine. Okay. And then let's look at the top two cards of the encounter deck. Did we both get host by tentacles in the same turn? Uh, no. I think last turn was the last turn you got host by tentacles. But yeah. Uh, we got like we got oh, two yeah, right. two right. things. One of them is a immediate Cap hazard convergence. Yeah, immediate agility test. Um, the other one is a later will test. I feel like um, Cap hazard convergence might be fine for me because unless I have an enemy on me, but even if I do, I can probably just let it hit me once. I mean, I will almost certainly fail this agility test. Uh, which is fine. Uh, I I think might, basically I'm I'm away, fine with fine. either I'm fine with either of these. So you should just take whichever one you pr prefer to have. Um, I guess I'll take the actually yeah I'll take I'll take the uh, the battering waves. Okay. All right. Uh, upkeep. Oh, reckless! Took took you a few turns this time. Usually you get it like turn one. I know. It, uh, the thing is, it's a cool weakness because it's it's an interesting little puzzle to try to get rid of it. It's just you really can't let it go off at all in this deck, or you'll be broke. Yeah. All right, we got the assault columns. So got a location. Okay. And then we got doom and encounter card for Ben, which is the waves. Um. So this will make you lose an action now because there's a difference of two. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so I just I, test. I can give you one symbol if that helps. Oh, did I forget to heal Jessica? I did. Uh, what's on this sigil? This is a will test. Oh, this is an arcane slot? Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm at, I'm at one versus three. So unless I commit a bunch of stuff, which I could commit on the mend and have lucky to it, but it's avoiding one damage and then one action. I guess that's worth not losing it. So I'll commit this. If you have something extra, you can commit it. On some um, Okay, so it puts me at four versus three. Skull is minus two, so I'll lucky. Okay. Nice. All right. Yeah, I definitely should have given you this, this. <laughs> you this one, but whatever. Yeah. Um, okay. So, no enemies. I mean, I'll just Pathfinder up there and try to get both clues. Although, unfortunately, I don't have deductions or anything. But I'll see what happens. I can probably just get them. So. I'm, uh, I'm probably going to do a useless investigate just to get rid of Reckless and get rid of, and also get rid of this haphazard convergence. OK. Um, I guess let me go first in case uh, something happens. Yeah. So Pathfinder. Up to here. Oh, I, def I definitely forgot. I should have totemed on that. <laughs> I should have totemed during that test. Because but, but. Uh, now I don't have any cards to commit to totem with. Well, I have one card. <laughs> um, so, yeah, four. I'm at five, six, seven, eight. Great. Um, and get one clue. And I guess there's no, we haven't seen any hidden cards yet, right? We might not have those this round. Yeah, so far so we haven't seen any. I think I'm going to commit the ring. Well, this is my maximum hand size. It's not terrible. I don't have time to play that, though. It's too much of nonsense. So I'll commit this ring, so I'll be at 7 versus 4, which is fine. Okay, so I got the last clue. I'll immediately spend them to... Teleport back to you. 
And let's look at the top two cards in the counter deck. Got an enemy that is scarier based on how much notice you have. <laughs> it's plus two fight, plus two evade, because we have a lot of notice. Oh man, that and is kind of scary. And then there's a rain thing. I'm going to maintain the order and you can draw the enemy. So Yeah, seems, uh, seems fine. And then I have one action left because I path earned up, so which asset is most important? The, the diary, so I have always have more stuff to commit. So you don't need yeah, to Yeah, I mean it. getting gearish out is pretty good too. I think either one is good. Yeah. Um So let's do gearish. Um yeah. Okay. Um that was my turn, so your turn. All right, um, I'm going to click one, get rid of the haphazard convergence. Can't take move actions during my turn. Um, click two, I'm gonna investigate with a two versus a two. I'm gonna commit reckless, and I'm also going to uh, think about Sophie. So up by four, and I succeed. All right. Um, and then last click, I'm going to play a. Could play a second colt, or I could spend a little bit of money and play the sword. Um, I don't know up to you because I, I know I'm going to have to fight a big thing next turn, right? How did he have high fight? Uh, he had to five fight. Yeah, let's play the sword. All right. That's it for Mark. Um, um, I'm going to chip a damage on Jessica if that's cool. Did you already add, add one to her? Uh, yeah, I just did it. Okay. Did, I, did I heal her at the end of my turn? No, Alright. Uh, okay, cool. So, oh, this should have gone. I forgot to move it. We did the peak already. So, upkeep. Upkeep. Okay. Uh, and then, oh, sorry, end of the round, we draw a thingy. Okay, we'll just assume this puts clues on here. Vertical seascape. Boy. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, okay. It's something going on. I'm sure Suki's fine with this. Or Sukiman. Um, okay. I... Uh, did I add a doom yet? This would be, should be a five doom, right? Or should we have six doom? This was the end of the fifth. The end of the fifth round put this out. So then, yeah, five doom. Okay. Uh, kind of card. So when we wouldn't move or investigate, is a resource. Okay. Kind of card for Dan. Luckily, we don't need to move this turn. Yes, yeah, so this guy's got. We have twenty-four notice, so. What's scary is this guy doesn't have victory, so there could be there could be multiples. Mm. I, I, well, if you look at the set symbol, maybe not. But I don't. Yeah, I don't think the set symbols are correct for this. So I don't think. Oh, hang on. Yeah, he actually. He oh, sorry. He only gets plus one fight and evade. I thought he got plus health too. Yeah, he's really not that bad then. He gets plus two fight, plus one damage, plus one evade. So his retaliate's a little scarier, but he doesn't have extra yeah. health. Yeah. No. I, yeah, he's, he's not that scary. Okay. Um. Um, actually, yeah, what am I even so, doing this turn? Do you do you want me to get one of these? Does it help you if I get one of these clues this turn? Because uh, like, I can kill this guy in one hit, so it's like, what else should I do? Yeah, it means I could maybe play something, although I don't have quite enough money to play anything on two things, so... I could yeah. cash you. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that could that'd give me money, I guess. I don't know. You could get rid of Psychosis for me, although I'm not really worried about it right now. Yeah, um, I mean, typically we haven't really cared about that, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could get clues if you want. Uh, you take a use a resource though every time you get clues. Actually, so yeah, maybe uh, caching me would help if I have to get if I have to get clues. That's, that's bad. Well, or, or I could, uh, you know, I could scene of the crime, get both, and uh, not lose any money because I would already have lost all my money. Uh, well, this is when you investigate, not when you get clues. Uh, yeah. So, but I mean, that that sounds good to me. And then I, then, okay. yeah, sure. yeah. I mean, I can I can scene and then just kill this guy. Okay. All right. Um, so I will click one. If only I'd save the crack the case, because the shroud is a four right now. 
Oh, wouldn't that be cool? Uh, oh. All right, so I get these clues. Um, click to. Oh, actually, at the end of. At the end of. Mythos phase, I want to use agency backup to ping this guy. Okay. Um. Oh, that's too bad. That'd be nice to have out. Um. All right, so click two. I'm going to uh sword this guy. I guess I don't actually need to spend a charge yet, but I'll just probably do it. So I have seven uh, versus five, um, and I'll commit. Um, I'll use Sophie. So I'm at nine versus five. Oh no! no, no. All right, I get retaliated. Um, two damage to one or. Oh no! So um, I think we have restored the timeline. Okay, and I have one action left. So what I will do with my last action is I will uh, attack this guy with my sword again. Um, what do I? Yeah, okay. So I will attack with the sword again. Um, so I'm at seven versus five. And I wish I had some money, but I don't. Um, I will commit... I think actually maybe instead of the sword, do I use AOD? Because that that basically gets me money. No, that's dumb. Um, all right, so I'm I'm just gonna use Sophie again and hope that you can maybe heal me or something, or I can heal myself. So yeah. I will use Sophie. So I'm st I'm up by four again, and okay. So I succeed. I spend a sword charge. This guy dies, and I draw a card off the sword. Okay. Um, Wait, oh, and I was, I was supposed to draw, draw that. The, yeah, I was supposed yeah. to draw that the first time I used Sophie. So, okay. Well, but uh, no. so... what would you draw this from then? Oh, did you empower the uh, blade? The sword. Oh, okay. Yeah, empower the blade. Okay. Um, and that is the end of my turn. Okay, and you can ship me whatever damage. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to be set up on my turn, so I will play Bandages, I'll gain a money, and then I'll play Diary. Um, yep. And now you could, if you have a turn later, you can cash and power up Bandages and get a bunch of heals from that. So. Yeah, if we don't draw enemies, I could, I, I could make good use of a setup turn, so we'll see if that happens. Okay. Uh, alright, so upkeep. Um, uh, I got a ladder. Uh, There's Safeguard. Finally. Alright. Well, I mean, we didn't really need it so far, so... Well, yeah, that's... That uh, Alright, so... We're at 6 out of 7 Doom. I got Counterintelligence. Oh, this goes away, right? Yeah. Um, so, Counterintelligence, and then I got an Agents of the Deep on me. And then you get a counter card. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Got, got a bunch of these guys. Oh, I forgot to reveal the last uh, That's, uh, uh, singer. This is maybe maybe not ideal here. Um, I think I I mean I I can kill both of these guys as long as nothing goes uh, seriously wrong. So. Um. So, but I think what I do is, I I, yeah, I basically run back the same thing that we did last turn, which is, um, end of mythos phase. I will use agency backup to ping. Your guy. I'll just get a card. Tyler says we didn't get the fun location. What that means? Uh, it should all be fun, right? Yeah. Um, I assume one was not Euclidean, and we didn't. Get we're that on one. a volcanic uh, ocean adventure. It's all fun. I mean, there's um, an emergent island over here that I'm just gonna go ch casually check out. That that is pretty cool. Look <laughs> at that Minecraft ass uh, island. I love it. I would I would I would hang out there. Um. Okay. So should I go first? Um. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of enemies for you to kill, so. All right. So I first I'm gonna attack your dude, with um. I guess I'll actually just use a. No, I should use the I should use the sword because if I want to kill it, I get to draw a card, which is good. Um. So I will attack your dude, and I'm going to use practice makes perfect. Oh boy. <laughs> Will Dan draw through his whole deck this turn? Let's find out. 
Oh, it's in play. It's definitely in play. <laughs> All right, so we're at seven, ten against five, uh, and we uh, only want to. We, we don't need to. We only want to succeed by two. Um, I'm not going to commit anything. Minus two. Okay, pass. So I get the overpower to hand. I spend a charge. Your guy dies. I draw one off the sword. I draw two off the overpower. Um, and then I will click two. I'm going to attack my dude with... I'll just use the gun. Um, so I'll attack my dude with the gun. Um, I'm going to commit this home front. And... I feel like I should commit some some other stuff just because my deck's about to run. Uh, I guess, man, I really want to play some of these soothing melodies before my deck cycles actually. So I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna commit anything else. <laughs> not gonna commit uh, anything. I, I guess not, right? right? So okay, but anyway, so I have five, I have nine against five with the home front, um, and okay, I succeed. So I heal one, and this guy dies. Okay. And then, so last turn. Um, I really, really want to play these soothing melodies. I think what I do is I I think I play one soothing melody. Okay. And then yeah, I think that's what I do. So I play a soothing melody and I heal the agency back up. Okay. Hey Scrat. Okay. Uh do you want to ship me something? Yeah, can I send you a, a damage? Sure, I'll put it on. Grish. All right. Uh, so I'm going to Pathfinder up. Um, don't have deduction, but I do have Essence the Dream is plus four symbols, so it puts me at a nine. Um, okay, get one clue, and then I will commit on the mend and totem it. Damn it. I forgot what stupid, the stupid counterintelligence thing. Um, I don't think actually I can deal with this efficiently without us losing a turn. Um, um, because I'd have to pick up a clue. So I, I had to do that first test regardless because I didn't have any clues. So, uh, so that triggers and then something is discarded. Oh, it's a second pathfinder, but sorry. All right, then so I could drop my clue and get rid of this. Um, and then you know, pick up one more clue, but I won't be able to get uh, the last one. Uh, do you if I'd done that in a slightly different order? I should have towed him to the first thing and drawn extra. See, cards. if I like had the safeguard and I was like traveling, with... even then I wouldn't help really because the agency backup is tapped, but I could have used it for this. I mean, instead I, of using it. I can just investigate again and discard another random card, which I don't really care about any of these cards. That oh, yeah, just so... totally do that. It's just you know, it's, uh, so I'll do maybe, that. You know, maybe it'll be an unsafe card that was really better off in your discard pile. No, it's the latter. Uh, Getting pretty but... scary. Half of your hand is very unsafe. <laughs> I know, and I discarded two cards too. All right, so I succeed and I draw two cards. Uh, oh no. Um, and then. So I get both these clues, and I guess I... S so as soon as I spend them, this will advance it. Uh, advance the act. I don't know what that will do. Um, yeah. So should I wait and do it at the beginning of next turn? Or just do it now? Let's see what happens. You already, went, you already did your turn, right? Yeah. I did, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um... Oh shoot, I forgot to do something to make Gresh heal me. I mean, Gresh heal himself. Dang it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I think I think I can spend them. I think I think we'll I don't I don't think a giant enemy do you think a giant lava monster is gonna attack us? That I would guess, be bad that would be a little bit bad right now, but it would also be really cool. Yeah. So. I can't really I just noticed the art on this fractured voyage where it's you know, an ocean going suddenly becoming vertical. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's fine. Let's advance it. All right. So this will get tucked, I guess. 
Uh, I don't remember which triggers first. Uh, what is this? After a card has been beneath the ship, exhaust him. Do it. Okay, I guess we do that after. Um, the act, I guess. I don't remember. Uh, all right, so let's go to advance the act. Uh, Sukuman studies his ship as you plow through the waves forward, past another intersection of space. Fragments of reality converge in front of you, bringing a towering volcano into view. An island this size couldn't have possibly just emerged from Krakatoa's natural activity, which can only mean that the architects are at work here. Uh, scenario interlude, end of the line. Uh, Sukuman brings his ship alongside the rocky shore of the island, close enough for you to jump over and wade in. You tell Sukuman to get well clear of the island, unsure of what will happen whether you succeed or fail in stopping the architects. The old fisherman grabs your hands with both of his and nods. I pray for your success. Find your way to the sea, then your work is done, and the sea shall lead me to you. You leap deep into the water, already warm from the nearby volcanic activity, and Sukuman's ship pulls away, quickly vanishing in the fractured space around the island. The volcano towers above you, though now at this distance you can see that its slopes don't meet naturally. The peak seems to be cobbled together from who knows how many segments of other volcanoes. You hope that the mountain holds together as you attempt to scale it. All right. Gather the set aside Krakatoa locations. Oh boy. All right. So we got. Uh, Krakatoa locations. Uh, do you get rid of two copies of Twisted Caldera from the game? Goodbye. Goodbye and shuffle put them into play along with the volcanic shore and impossible song locations okay so i think this stuff's all gonna go away might have already told me that and i forgot um so we have volcanic shore we got impossible summit we got these guys all around it okay was i supposed to remove Suki, oh yeah, remove Sukumin, Sukumin's ship, and each card beneath it from the game. Um, so, we we get moved to here. These guys are gone, so I don't think we get to trigger him, but whatever. Uh, remove Spawn of Relay and Storm of the Sea encounter sets from the game. Shuffle Architects of Chaos and Unnatural Stone encounters into the deck. Is that there? Oh boy. Um. Okay. So the, I feel like now the you know now the second Pathfinder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now now it seems like that might have been good. I mean, I'm about to yeah. shift my deck, so hopefully I can get. Well, it back. The good news is I I did just find safeguards, so we yeah, I want to get that out. All right. So I have to get uh what two what were the two symbols uh fish thing and a wave thing of some kind. Okay. This thing. Uh, do, 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 do fish, fish. There's a lot of these in here. Okay, I think that is all of those guys. I shuffle the encounter deck into the, the discard pile? Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess let me just double check this. Okay, cool. So these are shuffled in. Oops. There are, okay, thank you. The beard. Yep, we got 12 in, 12 out. Okay. Cool. All right, so I think this is all set up. Let me double check something on the next page. Okay. All right. Let's go to next act. All right. Impossible ascent. Space is bent around the volcano, keeping you from effectively scaling it. Only careful study of the phenomenon and the surrounding slopes will tell if there is a way to bypass the architect's safeguards. After investigators moved by a forced effect on Impossible Summit, move up to two clues controlled by investigators to this act. 
the end of the round, if there are eight clues on this act, advance. Okay, I'm just gonna double check, is that a non-Euclidean thing, a force effect? I think it is. Uh, I know it says move by the forced effect on impossible summit. Oh, let's look at that. Uh, when you would move to impossible summit, engage each enemy at impossible summit and move to the location directly across impossible summit from your starting location. Gain a clue from the token bank for each enemy get this way. Do not reveal impossible summit. Okay, so when we try to go to the summit, we get any enemies that are on it. We Uh, get moved across at which point we can spend clues then we gain a clue from the token bank and we could if we had clues when that move triggers we can put them on the act okay all right uh, so we're at, at the rocky slope that dips unevenly to the sea freshly hardened from lava flows uh, it's connected to the location above it choose a card that has been removed from the game but not exiled and shuffle it back into the owner's deck limit once per game interesting Okay, uh, so I still have one action, correct? Yes. Here's a Solemn Vow, um, which you can immediately use to ship some damage or horror onto Grish if you want. Oh yeah, uh, to do a horror maybe. Okay. Um, and then last action, I think, you don't have safeguard out yet, and I don't oh. have any clues, so I think I just draw a card. Oh, this is our diagnosis. Okay. Um, cool. So, upkeep. There's the objection. All right. And then we're going to, going to advance. That was the end of the sixth round. So we're putting us, I get an extra do on here somehow. No, that's right. Okay. Uh, all right. So this advances. All right. The atmosphere cracks and shifts, and you can feel multiple fragments of space shifting around you. Something is about to converge on you. But what? Volcanic heat? A gap in space? An enemy lying in wait? You can only trust your instincts and prepare for the first thing you expect. Uh, in player order. <laughs> Play out order, name a trait out loud, and discard the top card of the encounter deck. If the discarded card does not have the name trait, take one damage in horror, in one horror, or remove the top three cards in your deck from the game. After each player has resolved this effect, shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. Oh, wow. Okay, so you have to try to predict something. Unfortunately, I don't remember any of the cards that are in the deck other yeah. than there's one of these. So, yeah. I mean, so there's like hazards probably there's there's, um, there's wizards there's those wizard or those architects i don't know what symbols they're deep on one them. like a lot of the enemies are deep ones uh that the deep ones got removed oh cultists uh, so cultists maybe or humanoid um yeah this i mean <laughs> i feel like i don't pay enough attention I'm gonna, to traits i'm to gonna go enemy. i'm gonna go humanoid uh no it was this thing oh this had three things on it too i could have guessed no, no, the viewer, we don't want a trait list. This was a test of our how much we were paying attention. Yeah, um, yeah look, it's when we're going to fail. Big leagues. We got to stand <laughs> on our own two feet. Um, also, okay. taking one and one is fine. I don't care about that at all. Oh, um, I'm going to take two and one, but that's fine. Uh, oh, did I forget to heal at the end of my turn? God damn it. Uh, okay, do that. Do it now. Um, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Omen, because why not? Okay. Close. All right, so I'll take one and one. Hex and paradox, yeah. and I'll draw a card. Oh no, but uh, that actually is annoying because that will cycle my deck before I kind of wanted to. But that's fine. I mean, you don't um, have to draw the card, Ben. <laughs> come on, <laughs> be be serious here. Uh, <laughs> which will, which in turn does more horror. That's okay. all right. Um, all right. So that was the agenda advancing. And, oh, agenda two. Rising pressure. You soldier on through the fractured and molten landscape, the, uh, though attention lingers in the air around you. With all the sh uh, shearing of reality, the building pressure of the Caldera's volcanoes may be releasing without released without warning. Oh man, could erupt at any time. Wow. Um, all right then. So that was to add to the doom. So these stayed discarded, right? They was discarded. Uh, was it just revealed or something? Yeah. 
Uh, oh no, after each player has all those effects shuffled in. Oh, oops, I guess I should have shuffled it before you reveal the card, but, but you weren't going to guess it anyway. Um, Alright, so... Yeah, same thing. Facial, spatial ward. Alright, attach this location that is connected to the most other locations does not have a copy of spatial ward. There's no connection. Okay, so... Huh. Okay, so this always this basically always goes in the middle unless there's already one in play. And it means we can't move to it until we do the effect, which is take a horror or place a clue. So Okay. Uh encounter card for you. This jerk again. Alright. Um so can I go first, kill this guy, play safeguard? How's that sound? Uh, one second, I have to roll something back. So I forgot I had my uh, I found my guy out here, um, which means if I take the damage, I have to put it on him, which is annoying because I was about to heal him. Well, actually, I wasn't about to heal him, but I don't know if I want. Yeah, you to never take... heal this guy. Come on. Well, but I don't want to. I don't want you him to take. It. Oh, you're right. Okay, yeah, I do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so go ahead. You can go first, kill that guy. Get safeguard out, maybe if you have. Uh, yeah, that's that's the plan. So, okay. all right. So what I will do is, um, I guess I'll use the. No, you know what? It's better if I. Okay, end of mythos phase. I use the agency backup. Well, you already up. you already took damage during mythos phase from the agenda. You are right. Um, all right. So in that case, uh, I guess I. Oh, okay. Let me to restore the timeline. Let me say I did that just during main phase because there's no reason not to. Um, Okay. All right. Um, okay. So I do that, and then I attack him with my sword. Um, so I've got seven against three, uh, which is fine. Oh, no, sorry, he has five. So I do. I also commit this overpower. Um, so I have ten against five. And I want to succeed by two. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Minus two. All right, I succeed. So this guy dies. Oh, uh, did you want me to bandage you whenever something happened? One of these things for uh, damage. Not yet, honestly. It's kind of fine. Okay. Um. All right. So I got rid of that guy. Um. Man, there's a lot of cards that I should probably play. Um. Well, so I'll place. Oh man, I don't have the money for safeguard. Damn it. Well, you can stand together and then you can play safeguard. <laughs> I'm probably going to play the cash instead, I think, maybe. Okay. Um, uh, do you want me to put one on your bandages or whatever? I, yeah, any money you don't need, I'll put it into bandages. Um, okay, so that, that was click two. Click three is going to so, be safeguard. Wait, so how much did you give? How much bandages I'm, did you give me? That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. How did I lose so much money? I thought I had more money than that. Um, whatever. So uh, I definitely take one to play the safeguard, and I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. I think I gotta take two, so I can put one on your bandages. Because this way, so you're no, taking, I'll take you're, one. I'll take one. You can take two. I'm taking three. This gives four. Two. This gives four. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I'm taking. I'm taking two. You can take two. Okay. okay. Um, and then I spent two on safeguard, and that is it. Okay. Very, very um, painful that I have to throw away so many cards. So, okay, so I think I have to gain a clue somewhere, do the counterintelligence, and yeah, okay. So, which means I can't heal, which means I might lose the heal before that. No, I'm never going to heal that guy, it's fine. Uh, all right, so I think I Pathfinder up to the first location. These are all connected orthogonally, right? Oh, yeah, it says it on them. Okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so we will move up here. Ooh, not, not a great place to need to use a deduction on. So I, I think I don't use a deduction here then. I think I just investigate twice. Seems dumb to do anything else. So, because uh, I'm not, yeah, okay. I guess it's Hedger Betts with the Grizzly Totem. Um, 
Okay, get one clue. Oh, there's the surgical kit. That's that's the fancy the fancy one. Um, does double double healing or horror healing and card draw. Uh, okay, but then I will investigate again with on the mend. I also do Koresh so that I remember to heal him. I keep doing that in the wrong order. All right, so that's fine. So I'll heal a uh, horror off of Gresh and draw another card. Okay, so I got both clues. Ah, shoot, I did that in the wrong order. I was supposed to, before my second one, I wanted to place a clue. So, one second. So, oh, that was very scary. That's very scary, though. It means I'm going to lose one of these good cards, probably. But That's fine. Okay, great. Lost the shortcut. Okay, so I placed the clue down, and then I was... I don't care about getting all the clues this turn, so I just put the last clue up. Uh... Okay, and then Jessica heals. Okay, I think I've restored the timeline. Okay, um, and this is gone now. Okay, I'm all done, uh, but before my turn, it uh, doesn't matter, but did you want to ship me anything before um, upkeep? Yeah, can I send you two damage? Sure, I'll put on Jessica. Okay, uh, upkeep. Um, I don't know, the warp title might be. Can I use the warp title to ignore the impossible summit somehow? You would move from a location, oh, from a location. Um, okay, so I don't think, I don't think it looks like that. But I couldn't use I I feel like there's gonna be a lot of non-Euclidean, so maybe I do want to play the warped idol at some point. Uh to be able to just ignore non-Euclidean all the time. I, I I would guess that every one of these locations has non-Euclidean on it, but Yeah, if, if I had uh, to guess. <laughs> so that that might be worth it then. Um Okay, but my turn's over, so and I did we just did upkeep, right? Yeah. Yes. Um Okay, so then Doom happens. And encounter card for me. I got hyperbolic, hyperbolic sigils. Uh, patient with the highest shroud that doesn't have it attached. I guess that's here. Uh, I think that's great. I'd, we're probably not going back there unless we desperately need to do the action on it. But seems it's, good. Seems unlikely. All right, encounter card for Dan. Oh, okay, well, I, I do not. I do not want this to happen. Um... I guess what I will do is I might actually like how likely am I to play this stand together? I guess we both sort of need money. I mean uh can, can you maybe commit the idol to me? Uh so you're not gonna play it, right? I mean I was just talking about how I'm gonna play it. Oh. Well yes. I thought you were joking. No. <laughs> what? It's to ignore the non-Euclidean. I think we're gonna have to run around this whole board. Mm. I feel like I feel like that's good, but all right, no, that's fine. Um, I can commit this bone saw to you and make it a plus three by using grizzly totems. Oh, uh, that sounds very good. Um, I'm also going to think about Sophie. You actually only need to make it. A, you you only as far as symbols go, you only need to. Do one, but okay, if you want to, I'll, I'll just do one then because I'll use okay. it. Use it in something else. Oh, I also could give you right. plus two from Goresh. Then I wouldn't need to commit the bone slot to you. Hmm. It's up to you. Yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's let's do plus two from Goresh. Yeah. God damn it. All right. Okay. I pass this. Okay. Goresh heals. Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna set up unless we. Oh, yeah, I actually just found an ever vigilant. So. We could maybe make good use of that, actually, right? Ooh. Uh, yeah, because I, I have I, I have these two things to play. What if uh, what if I do stand together, ever vigilant? Is that it? That works, right? Just <laughs> uh, yeah, because you haven't done your turn. Yeah, sure. Do you, and you well, you have two things to play anyway, right? Oh, but you need the money. So um, well, if I stand together, I still won't quite have the money. I think what I'll probably do actually is I won't play. Do you have two things to play? I'd play these. Yeah, I'd play the idol and the surgery kit. 
mean, I technically have three things to play, but not quite enough money. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, or could I stand together, click for money, ever vigilantly play three things? Because I, I would return the, the sword, I would return the gun to my hand, and then I would play at a five. That would actually work. Okay, I think if you don't do, if you don't totally need to get both of those things out, or or do you? Uh, I intend to play both of them this turn. Uh, in some help with some help from you. So up, up to you. Is, is the surgical kit actually good? It's gonna make my bandages heal you for two each time you take a damage. I, I guess it just feels like we're already we're we're really plumbing that we're really hitting against the limits of how much damage it's possible for us to take for productive purposes. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, that, 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 that seems fine. So yeah, so what I'll do is click one, stand together. Um, click two, ever vigilant, and I will play two things. Okay, so I'll play two things. And click three. I will um soothing melody myself. Okay. Uh and you remember you can ship me two things at some point in your turn. Um Can I ship you two horror onto Grish? Sure. Okay. Alright, cool. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna try to get this last clue, and oh, if I draw a card now, then I can heal my guy and not have to think about a scenario properly, um, which I might do. So, all right, so what do we need clues for again? Oh, we need to move through the middle and uh, do the thing. We can't move through the middle until we take a horror or place one of your clues. Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to commit per... Uh, this won't let me perception cycle, will it? That's annoying. All right. Um, how did I tap both Hosley totems already? I thought I only tapped... Did I tap zero of these on you? Because I used Goresh instead. Did I, un did I untap it? Yeah, I used Goresh. Yeah, I think I must have untapped by accident. Okay, so I'll tap once. I'll commit the bone saw. Um, just to uh, draw cards. I'll we'll tap both of them. I don't know why. Why not? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a horror, which means I take a damage, which me but it's dark damage, right? Yeah. So I take a horror, take a damage. My deck gets shuffled. Draw two cards. Uh, this goes in my discard pile. I get this one clue, and then. I'm going to heal my guy. And does this do something on half of that? Heal a horror and draw a card. I want to do that. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Um, okay. And then I dropped a clue to do that. Then I will investigate again. And oh, I didn't do much. I had this still. Whatever. Uh, draw two cards. Okay. All right. Uh, that was three actions. I'm going to Pathfinder somewhere. Um. Okay. Pathfinder. Not my turn. No. Okay. Do you nope. care about taking a damage or dropping a clue? Not okay. particularly. All right. Well, let's. Oh, should we go through the middle? Oh no, we can't. Um. In fact, I'd actually love to take a damage because I don't think I've used so uh, I haven't drawn off mark this investigator phase. So, all right, then I guess see, ideally we'd go through the middle, but I guess we don't need to. So let's go over here. So yeah, you will take a uh, damage. Maybe I should have done that. I should have gotten rid of the uh, spatial ward. Whatever. Uh, it's it's fine. Um, I think we have to go to every location anyway. So, yeah. uh. uh Location you move gets plus two shroud until another round. Interesting. Okay. Uh, all right. So that was my Pathfinder. All right. And then you took a damage and drew a card. Yep. Okay. Upkeep. 
good. Oh, no, Jessica heals. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to use Gorish during one of those skill tests. Dang it. Um, I right, gotta discard some cards. Discard this. Discard death. Okay. All right. Uh, Doom happens. So two out of five. Here we go. Yep. Had another one. Uh, location uh, connected to most other locations. So that, that'd be the center, right? That guy's gonna be in the middle. Yeah. That's uh, that's especially annoying because we're diagonal from him, right? Uh, are we allowed to go diagonally? This is. Oh. I, uh... No, no, we're not. These are only connected above, left, right. Annoying. All right. Uh, so okay, so what we have to do is move say up, which is going to put a doom on the guy. Then try to move to the summit, which won't work, and instead we'll engage it and slide down the other side, and then fight. Okay. I and mean, we also we have a little bit of wiggle room on doom, but like the beard says they're all connected to the middle, but I don't see where it says that. In which case, I'd like to. Submit. Uh, well, they, they all have stars in the right. Complaint to the author. In their in their connections, they all have a star. Oh, okay, they do. Then why do they have? Do okay. they, why do they also say it's connected to the above, left, right, and below? Well, because that means they're connected to oh, like to the each, other to each. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, so I got it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, so we could go through the middle. Okay. Well, because um, what I can do is like I can, um, well, okay. all we really need to do is end up on this guy's space, and I can ping him. So like mm -hmm. I can just kill this dude and like get rid of the spatial ward. Yeah. And then if, uh, if you move on your turn, as long as you like move through the center, we can just ping the architect or whatever. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh is there anything you're doing before Mythos Phase ends? Uh um, no, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Then why don't you go first and deal with uh stuff? Okay. I will do that. Uh one sec. Okay. Um, so what I will do is I'm going to play this AOD to throw my sword at your guy. Um, so that puts me at a base of uh, nine against three. Um, and I'm also going to Use a practice makes perfect. And get out this home front. Which puts me at a very, very high number. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's going to kill your dude and heal me. And uh, gain me three from the AOD. And then. Um, Oh, I should have should have used. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna ping on my turn, so I will correctly uh, use use Mark Straw. Um, and then, oh, I could have. Do you want me to click one scene? Actually, I didn't have money. Um, you, and, yeah, and, yeah. And besides, we didn't know if that would work. So yeah. Um, it's it's fine. We'll we'll have other other opportunities yeah, for that. I think there'll be other chances. So yeah. Um. I'm gonna play another gun and then what else what else do you want me to do like what else is helpful you need to do an action to get rid of this thing oh yeah okay i'll do that so um, take, a, take a horror i will or, take a yeah. horror yep okay is that it then yep okay so i'm gonna try to get the clues uh i guess i might as well actually i only have 11 cards should i practice makes perfect and probably get deduction again yeah, okay, so I'll practice makes perfect. Uh, grab the deduction. Yeah. I'll give it two symbols. Okay, didn't didn't flop this time. I get get both get both clues. Get the deduction back to hand. Oh, so I got that at some point. Um I've got to tap Grish. I'll tap it. I'll tap it with the next test. All right, then I will leave. 
um, to go to the middle, which will make this guy engage me. I will put two clues in the act while we're going through. Um, and then I guess the effect of the non-Euclidean makes this have plus two shroud, because I'm going to keep going. Yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out in a minute. All right. So location you move to, I mean, because yes, yeah, this is when you would move to yeah. Impossible Summit, so you didn't actually move to it. Oh um, no, it's when you would move, so we didn't actually move to, you're right, so I don't think it dodges the move it, I think we end up here. Yeah. So. Yeah, right. it, it, the shroud is increased here. Okay. Ah, if only yeah. I had to crack the case. Um, <laughs> um, oh, and I, while we're here, I might as well ping the guy, so I'll do that. Okay. So, and unfortunately my ignore effect doesn't even help here, so, because... Mark is also moving, so so it doesn't make it plus four at least. It makes it plus two. So, uh, uh, I mean, some... if you want, you can. Oh no, I see. I want to leave it there because I got to ping. It. No. Uh, yeah. So you, you ping the guy at some. He got he got doom on him somehow, but you killed him. So. Yep. Uh, also, uh, I did engage the enemy though, so I do gain a clue from the token bank. So. Because uh, I was the one that, I guess it was. I guess it was simultaneous. So if, is it somehow beneficial for you to have a clue? I, I guess, Pro maybe. Here you can have a clue. <sighs> Thanks. Um, all right. So then I will second action because that was all my first action. I, uh, second action, I will deduction again. Uh, I mean, I have all these cards to commit, but I don't need to commit them. <sighs> what was the shroud? Five. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I will, I will commit. This is the dream. So that. Uh, I so I don't have to do any math. Wow. All right. Uh, all right. So I try to do it again. Yeah, that sucks, buddy. I do the same thing again. But luckily, I forgot to trick tap Grish on that test. So I'll tap him on this test. All right. Nice. So he will heal on that test. I will get both clues. Um, yeah, we've had, a, we've had a lot of noticeable tentacles this one. I think we've had at least four tentacles that were like on tests that we committed a bunch of stuff I mean, to. To be fair, they're, they're usually not tests that we would die if we fail. It's usually tests that are like, we would get a lot of stuff if we passed. So. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Uh, that was all of my actions. So, uh, upkeep. Oh, wait. First, may I move two damage onto you? One onto Garish, one onto whatever? Sure. Oh, yeah. Jessica will heal at the end of my turn. I'll get that back. So, yeah. One on Garish, one on Jessica. Damn it. Uh, you mean damage yeah, under or, or if you want, I can do both on Jessica. That's better. What, what uh, she will have been. Out. She gets fully healed by the end of my turn. Yeah, no, it makes more sense to put both on her. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I have to press the keep button for me yet? No. I'll keep, and then doom happens, and counter card for me. I got the I I I E. Um, I'm I'm pretty close to you know having a minus three on that. So, all right, and counter card for Dan, haphazard convergence. Um, well, I probably wasn't going to take any move actions, so I think we're I think we're okay with this. Uh, yeah. It is it, it's annoying because I can't see right, but uh, um, if that's okay. I probably wouldn't do that anyway. Yeah. So, okay. Um, well, there's no there's no clues I... in our location anyway, so. Shall I go first and just get rid of this? And... Yeah, get rid of these treacheries and do whatever. Okay. Um, what can I do to get cards in the bin? Because if I can get two more cards in the bin, then I could... Uh... I, I think we can just pass it. I think it's fine. Um, so I'll discard that. Click one. Yeah, I can, give click... you, I can give you Garish if you want plus two on it. Oh, yeah, perfect. Well, so click two. Well, let's see if we even need it. So I'm going to do this test. I have 13 in the bin. So that's going to be um, its difficulty three. So I'm at zero. I'm going to think about Sophie. Oh no. Um, hey, oh man, that makes it easier. Uh, I guess uh, it's too late. I can't. No, well, you, have to, you have to get rid of one card somehow. Um, you, you could play Fire Attack Perfect. Makes perfect. <laughs> I, mean, um, I can just give I you Grish. I mean, that, that puts you at a four above. So. Yeah, I, I think we just do that, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So I'm up by four. Um, okay. okay. So that that goes away. 
And uh and then one action left. I think I probably soothing melody just for fun. Uh sure. Yeah, nothing else. Nothing else going on. I'm uh, we out, dying. No, I'm fine. So a lot of damage soothing, but it soothing melody, and that is it. Oh no, reckless. Oh god, worst time for that to happen. Ooh, so that happens uh, now, doesn't it? Oh god, I fucking uh, hate that card. Rough. Alright, uh, I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna go I'm gonna Pathfinder down to here. Assume you're gonna follow me. Yep. Uh yeah, that's so no I, turn, I, guess. I guess I ignore I ignore the Euclidean off in this, and you have to just look at the top card of your deck and discard it probably. Uh what is it again? It's this oh. this Euclidean effect, non Euclidean effect. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, that's actually that's actually a good card. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought you hated this I mean, card. <laughs> in this in this circumstance where like all I have to do is get clues, yes. Uh, okay. Um, Speaking of which, I have agency backup up, so let me know if you want me to grab a clue at some point. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, why don't you grab a clue from here? Because I'm just gonna grab one, probably. So, uh, yeah, let's commit comments. Tap those. Those. Okay, cool. All right, so got that. Those clues. I get to draw two cards. Uh, what's the timing on this? I remember. The skill test is successful is after you get the clues. So I could crack here. It's only a shroud two though. Seems bad. I'm gonna crack at the next location. Uh, who do I play? Is it worth playing this Pathfinder? I think it's not at this point. Because we're gonna move uh, like. Well, I think if you, I mean, if you have the money, it probably is. But if you don't, then don't worry about it. Yeah, let's have to figure out the optimal way to move now. We have to move through the middle three more times. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I do have the money, so that's why I was considering it. Um, yeah, why don't we play Pathfinder? Because I'm going to move this turn anyway, so let's play Pathfinder. Um, and then immediately move with it through the middle. I'll drop two clues off. And end up over here. Oh, uh, no enemies, so let's do that. Uh, okay, I will commit essence, and that puts me at seven versus three. Oh, first other sign of the game, for me at least. Uh, I think I will heal myself a bit. And then get one clue, and then that was the end of my turn, right? So I didn't finish this turn. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, upkeep. And... Oh, can I move one horror onto Grish beforehand? Oh yeah, sure. I'll heal Jessica even though I don't need it. I think I'm never gonna play Captain Discovery this game. So all right. Uh Doom happens and counter card for me. One one Doom away from advancing. Warped stonework. Alright. Uh why does this say instead? Oh, because it triggers when you would move. Move directly to a location that's not connected to the attached location? Hmm. Trying to decide if that is somehow annoying, but you also might not have anything to do except to discard something from your hand. So, all right, counter card yeah. for Dan. Yep, so, sounds yep. about right. Um, <laughs> yeah, what I'm gonna do is, oh, can I get this clue to get rid of Reckless actually, and maybe use Garish? Uh, sure. I, okay. Then what I'm going to do is get rid of this, investigate to get rid of Reckless, and then also get rid of um, Warp Stonework is my plan. Okay. Is that, is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. I can even do the Warp Stonework first just in case it fails. Um, okay. 
Uh, well, actually, I guess it wouldn't fail. So click one, no haphazard convergence. Click two, uh, investigate. So two against three. Sophie makes it four against three. Garish, if you're okay with it, makes it uh, uh, six against three. Sure. Um, uh, what? Uh, is, any, is anything else a minus four? We don't have squids, do we? I mean, if you take another damage, I will trigger bandages and heal you for two. Great. Let's do that. Um, all right. Hooray. Okay. Um, and uh, last action, I will choose and discard a card from my hand, which is going to be TTI, I'm pretty sure, to get rid of this thing. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess, do I want to crack here? Yeah. Might as well. I would love some money. Yeah, I don't think I need any more money this game, I want to say. So you can take it all. Great, thank you. I just have, like, luckies, basically, I think. So. Uh, okay, so... It's the optimal order. I guess it's still go up first, right? Yeah, so let's go... Because we need to move through the middle four more times. Okay. Uh, so let's go up. Jagged Feasting. Oh, I didn't. I haven't been looking at the very. Have you looked at the art on all these cards so far? <laughs> some of them are pretty cool. Like, the beard dug deep to find find some some dope volcano art. Some so. of these. Uh, some of these definitely remind me a lot of um, like mountains in Magic. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be shocked if a couple of these are mountains. Yeah. All right. Oh, what's the non cadian effect here? Choose an, a non weakness card in your hand. Shuffle it back in your deck. If there's no clues in your location, you may. Draw a card. Oh, great! I'll All trigger. Right. I'll trigger that. Yeah. And shuffle something into my deck. This one. Because there's there was no clues on my location, so let's draw a card. Um. Okay. Uh, shroud three. So, uh, get this at some point. I pathfinder to get up here. I guess I'm gonna draw through my deck again, probably. That's fine. <laughs> um, you want me to snag one of these clues with the FBI? Uh, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, why not? Um, oh, Gresh should have healed whenever you succeeded on that test. Um, all right. Uh, perception uh, puts me at a eight versus three. I'll double grizzly totem. Great. Draw two cards because I pass by two. Um, get this clue. Uh, something else triggered, no. and then uh, I guess we go through the middle. I guess I shortcut myself through the middle because I'm about to. Yeah, sure. Why not Sh shortcut myself through the middle? I only know one action, right? Yes. Okay. So sh sh shortcut myself through the middle. Uh, what's this thing? If you move from this location, ask the last action of your turn. Take one horror. That is not true for either of us. So. Nice. Do that, and then we drop two clues on the act. Let's drop two of my clues. Um, now we're here. Uh, interesting. You can drop clues to. I guess that's to if you want to get rid of the bad effect. Which right now it is the bad effect, but um, all right. Well, let's. Hmm. Gonna be sad if you take two damage. Nope. Okay. Then <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get these clues. Uh, I'll commit stuff. This this is a plus two, so I'm at a seven. That's a minus three, and then I commit uh, this, so I'm at a seven seven again. Right. Um, all right, so I got all the clues again. Uh, so I don't have any actions left, but I could Pathfinder either through the middle again, which will make it advance, or to here in order to prepare to go up. I guess. I mean, there's another act, so it's like I'll have time to go here probably, right, and get the victory. One, one would think, right? I mean, you never know. 
think of course I also some something something some big monster could also spawn I guess at this point I don't know I guess do we want to advance it now or advance to begin next round basically I guess let's do it begin next round um yeah so that's will, usually safer right so I will pathfinder us here well it means you will take two damage but if you don't care then, I don't uh, care about that at all then okay take two damage um, um do you do you want to banish me or do you want me to shove it onto your cards with solid uh, i'll bandage you okay uh i don't think i took no during my turn i investigated so i already used mark so yeah okay, oh, okay. and you banished so yeah so, oh, and, you're, and you're then jessica's gonna heal yeah you already had one um okay. so but you, if you want to ship stuff to me still like horror or whatever you can um, i will send you to horror on a grish okay all right, cool. Then I think we're, I think I'm all done then, right? Yes. Okay. Upkeep. Um, oh, more bandages. Great. Uh, do you, oh, we are going to advance though. So if you finish your upkeep. Yep. Uh, all right. Let's advance. An explosion. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do, I do have the sweat drop of dates. Uh, an explosion rocks the air, and a wave of heat and ash sweeps across you. Scattered chunks of tephra fling across the sky, though their trajectories are disjointed by the overlapping space. It's a matter of chance whether you're in the path of any of the debris. Okay. In player order, each investigator must decide. If the warp bottle is in play, exhaust it. Uh, immune level, sigil is ready, exhaust it. Lose one action, you can't move this round. Reveal random chaos token. Okay, well... Oh, so I'll just exhaust the warped idol. That seems that seems to make sense. What do you choose? Uh, so you have to lose an action and then you can't move, or reveal a random chaos token if you reveal a spooky or a symbol token, take two damage, or discard an asset. Wait, so the worst thing that could happen is I have to take two damage? Yeah, that is the worst thing that could happen. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's let's do a random token here. Eh, nothing, nothing happens. You know what? It's too bad. Damage, little, little damage in the morning. You know, wakes you up, gets you feeling. Uh, you know. Don't worry. I have a, a Care Bears band aid for you. So here you go. Yeah. You can immediately... Look, Mark. Mark is the unpunishable man. Yeah. It just, it just isn't possible. So yeah, I'll just heal that two damage immediately. <laughs> no, I. It was a. It. It wasn't even a scary token. Oh, was it? Oh man. Yeah. So that's I, so, that's what I was saying. Right. I was disappointed. Like the yeah, two days, I was I, looking forward I to the throw the I throw the Care Bears band into the lava. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I did I did look. Uh, all right, so that is the end of the. I realized I can click the wrong button on. Yes. Okay. Uh, ready to blow. The space around Krakatoa Caldera is being stretched further apart with each passing second. The architects must be finishing their designs to transpose Relay onto the surface. Is it already too late to stop it? I'm going to lean towards probably yes, because otherwise it wouldn't be an eighth scenario. But, you know, we're still going to try. Our characters don't know that. So, <laughs> um, all right. So, encounter cards. Reign of Cinders, ooh, uh, put it in playing a threat area. Oh man, uh, well, I mean, luckily, I mean, you can you can trigger this as your first action if needed. So, <laughs> let's let's see what you draw for your counter card. It's like the will one, but it's agility. It takes damage. Ah, oh, you drew an enemy. Sad for me. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can just. Why don't I just go first and do both of these? Well, this guy will hit you for eh. for two for two damage and a horror. Yeah. It seems like. I don't care. Okay. All right. I mean, well, I mean, I, I can know, just, if you, if I can you, just bandage you. I mean, if you don't want me to, I won't. But have like, a, I, don't, I don't really care. <laughs> have some a Mickey Mouse band aid for you. So nice. Oh, oh man, the the power of Mickey Mouse, very powerful. <laughs> you know the in. <laughs> yeah. Mickey, All right. Mickey um, Mouse existed, right? It's been in the 1920s, didn't it? Mick, uh, it's borderline. Mickey hasn't, Mouse is like hasn't the point. hasn't the copyright uh Os trademark oswald been extended. The rabbit definitely existed oh yeah how about an oswald the rabbit band okay with that? I'll, I'll give you that <laughs> hang on i'm looking this up oswald the rabbit created in 1927 that's close enough okay that's, let's say that close. let's say that immediately when he was created he was such a powerful uh corporate mascot and cartoon character that they immediately started making band-aids with oswald uh, the rabbit yeah, it is it is the november 1927 so oh yes yeah, no <laughs> yeah give me come on give me give me an oswald the rabbit band-aid okay, okay. from now on that's mark's favorite thing okay um, Okay, so click so, one. I'm gonna get rid of that thing, right, and I'm gonna sweet. get a load for two and one. Yeah, I'll heal the damage, but you will take the horror. Okay. 
Uh, I'll put that on Gret, I guess. Yeah. Um. I, see, I almost, I almost should have kept some of that damage to use the home front with, but that's do fine. Do you? I mean, do you want it? I can, just, I can not heal you. I can save no, the band-aid fine, for later. Okay. It, it, it's all good. It's all good. All right. So then I will. Uh, I'm going to attack this guy. I think I'm actually just going to punch him. Um, I'm going to punch him, and I'm going to commit an overpower and a vicious blow. Um, so I'm going to okay. be at eleven versus five. Okay. Um, and I should commit the home um, front too, just to get it you... back into my deck for for uh, <laughs> do you want... purposes. Yeah, you probably don't need a Grish. So probably don't. Probably don't need a Grish. Okay. All right. Um, so these all okay. So I'm basically so these are all gonna go. This guy's gonna die. And um, I, do, I do have bad news for you though. You draw the cards before you discard those. Oh, so, do I? so none of those are gonna get. Uh, um, those are not gonna get put back in your deck. Because this happens when the test is successful, and you don't put the cards in your discard pile till the end of the test. Can I choose not to draw the cards from the overpower? You cannot. You could choose say, not to to not commit the home front because you didn't realize that. I'll allow that. <laughs> can I, what can I say? I didn't commit the. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. That's fine. Or or if you right. or if you didn't want to commit, you can pull back one of those cards because you way overcommitted. If that's yeah. Right. Okay. Um, okay. So these get discarded, okay. and he dies, and uh, I have one action left. And do you want to stand together? Uh, or is there anything else useful I can do? We don't need to stand together, but sure. All right, let's do it. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna first action. I'm gonna Pathfinder us up here. Which is going to trigger a bunch of stuff. Uh, oh, this doesn't happen until the end of the round. Shoot, I missed that. I, okay, I definitely should have done that last round. All right, well that's fine. So I'll pathfinder ups up here. So I have to take a damage. Yeah, um... I will ignore that. Oh no, I can't ignore it. Uh, okay, so I take a damage from Jessica, I guess. Um, and then uh, I have a. Want me to grab one of these? Uh. Sure. Yeah, why not? All right, I will. Essence yeah, of the dream. Yeah. That stuff. Do all this. Do do all this stuff. I guess. Actually, I'll keep that in case something goes bad. Well, okay, great. Good job. Another auto fail on double grizzly totem. Uh, but at least I kept the essence of the dream. It's so crazy can, how that keeps happening. So I can try again. All right. The third. That the third one on the double totem. Definitely the third one I've drawn on something that I cared about, but and I've, I've I've also had at least one that was solely on a like I would just like to draw cards yeah. off this kind of thing. Uh, but I do have crack the case, so I will crack the case. Uh, do you need money? <laughs> looks looks like no. Not really. Uh, well, I'll can I convert that money into bandages somehow? No. Um, um, I don't know. T give me one, take three. Sure. All right. Then, um, then we have the same amount of money. Hooray! I forgot to tap Garish. God dang it. Um. I mean, I would if I had remembered, I would have done it on the first test, and he would have lost it anyway. So we we should probably like we're we're doing pretty well. We should probably take advantage of that and play faster instead of just trying to min max even harder because it's kind of pointless. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. So do we? I mean, I obviously I've made that mistake a thousand times. So. Oh, did I put the two clues on here when I moved through? I feel like I forgot to do that. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I got. I, I don't know if there's any reason for me to move more, so I'll just stay here and play bandages and uh don't really want to play it. Do you need to be horror healed? No. Not really. Okay, I I do nothing else. All right, <laughs> Jessica. Jessica heals. I guess I guess I draw a card. Uh, yeah, just Jessica heals. Um. All right, upkeep. I guess I take a direct oh, damage. Oh, can I move? Uh, I'm going to move one onto Jessica and uh, oh, Grisha's actually loaded up. Okay, I'll just move one on Jessica then. Yeah. Gotta, gotta get, cut, you got to get Grish back online. Buddy. I keep forgetting to press the button. Uh, How do you think that makes him feel? <laughs> I imagine he's makes him pretty sad. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, 
man. I think I'm gonna discard both of these. I don't know, those are better. Do we need horror healing? Not really. Good news, I chose to discard another card instead of on the mend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is that a first yeah. is that a first <laughs> first time <laughs> ever? It's a little rare, but yeah. Um okay, what is which which one of these do I need the least? Um yeah, it's this one. All right. Um, okay, so the agenda is going to advance. Um, so let's advance Act Two. Not the agenda. The act's advancing. All right. Uh, through repeated movement around and through the peak, you are able to pinpoint a small, smaller stone fixtures that maintain the warping field. You easily deface the stones and pull a clear path up to the peak. Suddenly appears. The same time that the path appears, an ungodly gurgling roar thunders across the peak. The sound ungodly of leathery wings <laughs> echoes dully, dully across the peak. Something unearthly is atop the volcano with the architects. All right, reveal the impossible summit. Spawn the set aside star spawn of Cthulhu at the impossible summit. Boy. All right, so this is flipped over. This is over here. Uh, we don't have any cultists alive. With your clear view of the peak, the stone structures at the top appear more unstable than you expected. Uh, without the leadership and expertise of the Masonic traders, the project has proceeded haphazardly. Put this card next to the agenda deck. Impossible Summit gains forced. At the end of the round, each investigator at Impossible Summit discards the top three cards of his or her deck. Dang it, did I just trash the card that uh, prevented me from losing cards? Damn it. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Uh, okay, I'll put that here, I guess, to maybe, maybe remember it. All right. Oh, it's, it's a star spawns deal. Uh, interesting. It turns elder signs and tablets into squids when you're hanging out at his place. It's gonna be the impossible summit appears to have a cube on top of it. That's very uh, mathematical. This reminds me of like. A place in like Burning Crusade. Wasn't there like weird cubicle stuff in the like the Ilden zone? I don't know. Well, um, uh, maybe. Resolve each uh, location you were moved to. Interesting. All right. Exhaust an asset you control with a printed fight action. Reveal X random tokens. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what this action does. Exhaust an asset you control the printed fight action. Reveal X random tokens from the chaos bag where X is the maximum possible damage that asset is able to deal. This action does not provoke a tax opportunity. It makes I mean, sense. If, oh, it, make, a it makes sense study. if you look at the act. Okay, thanks. Yep. All right, let's look yep. at the act. Deconstruction. The architect's magic continues to build, much like the pressure of the volcano. This is your one and only chance to disrupt the ritual, but will it be enough to stop them from raising relay? Uh, after you reveal a tablet token, place one clue in this act. When uh, when Elder Sign, Skull, Cultist, or Squid tokens revealed at your location, spend one clue, treat that as a tablet instead. So if I understand okay. this correctly, we're going to go to the top and Mark is going to fight the volcano. Uh, well, you have to fight this star spawn first, I think. But then, okay. you, can fight, then you can fight the volcano, yes. Okay. Like this this well, star like... spawn is standing in the way of you fighting the volcano. Okay. Well, it also, it seems like if we want to be optimal about this, ideally, the thing is... If there's no other way to do the thing other than a, a fight action, which okay, that's not actually the case. You can just investigate and do the same. Yeah, thing you can investigate or. Because um, yeah. what I what I'm thinking is, although it's slightly better to do fight because you can reveal multiple tokens, um, because like yeah. ideally I would exhaust my weapons every turn, I guess, because I only have two of them. But yeah, and luckily you have a bunch fun. of clues to be able to do the trigger thing on. Also, so. it's definitely it's a little better. This is pretty good if you. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, I guess having two two little weapons is better than like one, um, you know, holy spear or something in this case. So, yeah. Well, if you had like a shotgun or something that has like a maximum damage of six or something, so that'd be pretty good. But yeah, yeah. but most of the time, two is two is fine. All right. So, uh, that was the end of the round. So mm -hmm. then, doom happens. We only got four turns to fight this this star spawn on the volcano, but. I think we can probably do it. I'm good. That's uh, annoying. I mean, this just spawns on us. Does this? Oh no, it spawns. Uh, it is annoying. It spawns yeah, we haven't we haven't moved into the location yet. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have a spatial ward. Um, so location that is connected. I think that would be here, right? 
Yeah, I think that's there. So I think okay. we don't, I don't even care about that part. So. so can you possibly go first, get rid of... Can you, like, get rid of the ward and end your turn by moving into the summit so that um, I have, like, a full turn to fight the star spawn? Yeah, I can do that. Um... Actually, I might not totally need it. No, I probably do, actually. No, I can do that. All right. I mean, uh, I, I think I, I think I can kill him, but I think I probably need a whole turn. Well, it, it depends what I get from PMP, so. Okay. Uh, if I drop a clue here, will you pick it up? Um, Although, I otherwise, can. I can't pick it up. Ah, I was thinking well, about getting a psychosis, but I don't think I need to. So now I can, I'll but if you it. have an action, because that way I can maybe use agency backup to ping. Yeah, no, I'll do it. Uh, all right, so I drop a clue, and then I'm going to investigate to try to pick it up. Uh, try practice with purpose for no reason to get uh, perceptions. Yeah, why not? Because it, it'll make us take longer. <laughs> so definitely work. remember to use Girish this turn. Maybe maybe use him when I'm fighting the guy if you want. Uh, do you need it when, fight, when you're fighting him? Uh. Otherwise, I'll use it right I'm... now during this test I'm doing right now. You definitely don't need it for this test, so save it for later. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't need it for this test. So I'm at a lot. Well, it's a lot. I'm at a lot versus four. Uh, nine versus four. Yeah. All right. So I got a six. So I succeed. I get my clue back. Um, I have one action left to do something. Uh, don't forget your two cards. I got to do those two cards. And your perception. Yep, I do need all that. Oh, I can play the bone saw. Or you can commit it to me when I fight the big guy. I mean, if I play it, I can use the fight effect on it. Not necessary at all. But I could use it to help draw tokens. I I think we're okay. I really think we're fine. <laughs> you only have one action left. Think hard I... about what you want to do with it. <laughs> what else am I going to do? Do any of these things help me? No. Uh, I don't. Have, I don't have anything else I need to do with this action, Dan. What if I played the uh, what if No, hang on. What? Uh, what, what about these items? Some pretty good items <laughs> over here. Just don't do anything. Oh shoot! I forgot to grizzly totem on that test. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ben. Oh, but I can grizzly totem on your tests. I think. Yeah. You could, I was gonna say you could have so many. Well, then you better have some things to commit to me, right? I do have stuff to commit to you. No, it's uh oh. After I commit a card, yeah, okay. So you could always I, you could draw a card. You know. I have so many cards, Dan. Uh, what if I draw my sad boy? Uh, uh, that's fine. That's fine. I'll course. draw a card, Dan. I don't know why you don't want me to play Bone Saw. I'd give me a fight I, action. I just seems, think that, that seems good. Us, I think that it's better for the team if none of us plays any unsafe okay. items that okay. have the potential I, to hurt other people. I'm going to shortcut up here. You have to take a horror or place a do on an enemy. Okay. Um, I take a horror. Okay. I'm now up here. Is this guy? Uh, he's not. Uh, so he, he. I guess I could have gone up here first. He's not. I thought he was massive. He's not. This guy feels like he should be massive, but you know, yeah, probably. Uh, um, man, I definitely don't want this guy to hit me at all. Uh, which means I, I definitely should have just come up here and done all that stuff up here to potentially. Whatever. Get tokens. Um, all right, so it is. It's it's Dan's turn, right? Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click one, shoot this guy with my gun, and I'm going to use practice makes perfect. Yeah, that's true. There could have been traitors there. Uh yeah, let me know when you want me to commit yeah, something to you. That's that's pretty good. To, um, to unnecessarily draw more cards. Um, I actually might not really. Uh, well, okay. So this is um here. So the first one I'll commit these two. So I've got six. Uh, I've got eleven versus four. Okay. Okay. I succeed. So this goes back to hand. I draw two. He takes four. Okay, I'm going to give you plus five on your next test. That's what, nice. That's what, that's what you get. <laughs> All right, uh, so I AOD. Oh, no, actually, I want to keep both my guns out, so I don't AOD. I use a bullet off of this other gun. Um, I commit the Vicious Blow again. Um, so that puts me at uh, eight plus whatever Ben is giving me, which is a plus, lot. Plus five. Additionally, I will think about Sophie. That didn't seem necessary, but... Hooray! Alright, All right, so he dies. He, yep, he's got victory. Draw two cards for no reason. Double crack the case. Oh, hang on, you know what I forgot? Um, when it was... So I drew an Elder Sign that first one, so we had to treat it as a squid, but that was fine, because I still passed. 
So. Okay. And right, so that goes, well, and because it's a squid, and because you drew a symbol, you can trigger the. You can spend a. You could spend a clue to treat it as a tablet, and then we get to put a clue on the act. So okay, we'll do do all that. Okay. Yep. Seems seems good. And then I what did I even draw for the second one? How do you draw this on the second one? But the first one was an older sign. I don't know. Got it. Got to pay more attention to this. Yeah, um, yeah. All right. Anyway, so I have an action left. Uh, I will probably. I mean, I can I can scoop up a clue with agency backup. Is that good? I don't think we need those clues. Okay, I will. I'll do the but... action to fight the volcano. Yeah. So I fight the volcano. So I'm going to reveal two tokens. Wow. Oh look! Oh uh, wow, that's <laughs> it, pretty good, right? Do you need to trigger on so, both of them? <laughs> well, the elder sign. Yep, the elder sign. I can spend a clue, and then I just got a tablet, so I can basically put one on here plus one from the token bank. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide if it's the same timing point or not. I don't know. Uh, that's fine. Have to reveal. Um, yeah, that's so that was do that twice. Yeah. Anyway. That was my last action. Can I? Oh, use Grish. So you got to heal Grish, right? I did, I did use Grish. Okay, okay, I'm gonna move a horror onto Grish and a damage onto Jessica. Okay. And right. can I, I sh can I pick up one of these clues with the FBI? If if you want to, we I don't think you need it, so. Whatever. I don't think there's any reason not to. So. Okay. All right, that that is the end of my turn. Okay, upkeep. And then we ended our turn at the volcano, so we have to discard the top three cards of your deck. I was hoping I would discard my uh my, pa just my patient. All right, uh, all right, and then I have to discard a million cards from my hand. Really not gonna let me use like, the bone saw. You don't. I, I can't fight. I, what? We could have both shortcut it out, but whatever. I I wanted to discard three cards in hopes of getting rid of my uh, oh, weakness. Yeah. Basically. Also, um, it, then we just have to deal with non Euclidean. So. Yeah. And, uh, so let's, let's discard this stuff. Uh, let's get this. We don't need to crack the cases anymore, right? Okay. All right. Uh, Doom happens. Encounter card for me. And oh, that's that thing. Oh, we might we might win the game before that happens. So. so I can I can get rid of your thing and let this guy hit me again if we want. But I would kind of what if we just let let what if we just keep that there and you kind of deal with it. And at worst, you take some damage. Oh, you actually have a lot of damage on you, though. Yeah, but I can soak. I don't have. Okay, it's, it won't be direct, so I can just soak it on Grash or whatever. Yeah, and, and, I, and, I, also, and, I, and I have four bandages, so. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty I'm good. Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, so yeah, so let's. Um, we're gonna. Why don't I? Why don't I basically kill this guy and then use the fight the volcano twice, and then you can see if you need to fight the volcano. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So, first action. Um, Oh, and I guess I, I guess I'll use agency backup to ping this guy because I don't have a PMP or anything that adds more damage. So at the end of Mythos phase, I will use agency backup to ping the agent. Oh, there it is. Um, what do I have left in here? Actually, anything fun? Uh, no overpowers. Okay, nothing. Nothing really fun. Fine. Uh, all right. So during my turn, I will um, AOD. Nope, I keep forgetting. Don't want to. Don't want to do it. Uh, I will shoot this guy, and I'll commit a daring. So he's at five. I'm at nine, and I'll uh, use Sophie to make it a. No, I don't need. Yeah, I'll just do it. Do it just do it for fun. Um, what did you? Oh, what? Whoa! Oh, whoa! Yeah. Hell yeah! So you're who's, so good at everything. Who's good at fighting the volcano? I mean, you, you, you're not even at, at the fighting volcano step. Uh, oh no! You, oh no! You did shoot it twice, actually, last turn. So, yeah, it's pretty. With good. your little tiny Colts, right? You're shooting. <laughs> you're shooting with a tiny, tiny weapon. Pretty right. much. Um, and then I think I just fight the volcano twice, right? Uh, yeah, it seems good. Okay. So I fight the volcano once. Uh, I spend a clue to treat the cultist as a tablet. Okay. And then I fight the volcano again. Wow. Yeah, you are very same. you are very good at fighting the volcano. Wow. There's not a volcano in the world that can stand up to Mark Harrigan. 
All right, uh, that's it. Then we advance. So, uh, all right. Uh, after your many experiences with the impossible angles and structures, you'll begin to understand. You find the gaps in the bent space around their stone constructions and deface one of the keystones. All right, resolution three. So I lost my page. All right. Um, your vandalism of the carefully designed monolith triggers a collapse and reordering of the world around the pillar. You are thrown to the ground from the force of the event as a tremendous explosion sounds from all around you, though not a volcanic one. Water rockets upward, funneling completely around the narrow patch of the rock you lie on. Chunks of loose stone flow towards you, only to suddenly disappear and continue away on a different trajectory. Even in its ruined state, the unnatural stone bends space around itself, keeping you in a pocket of untouched, untouched by the torrential water. Gradually, the, slow, the current slows and suspends for a tense moment before falling away. Shapes begin to clarify through the draining water, shapes that should be impossible, but you know can exist only in one place on Earth. All right, we have a sabotaged uh, or the, the architects. Oh, God dang it. Hey, tail out simulators note note section is the worst thing because uh, I delete it every time. Okay, timeline restored. All right, um, the architects. Is it architect? The architects. Is it one architect or multiple architects? Project was. This. Sabotage. Okay, cool. Uh, we get two notice. That's fine. Who cares? Um, I mean, at this point, <laughs> yeah, we add a cultist token to the bag for the remainder of the campaign. What is that? Four or three? <sighs> I think I'll press the wrong button. Tail just <laughs> uh, Let's token back. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, what's this? What's this at? 22, okay, three, all right. Um, are we supposed to get squids in the bag somehow? Maybe if we fail something, I don't know. All right, resolution four. Before you lies an unsettling vista, jagged and alien, perhaps more unsettling because it is familiar. You've seen this unnatural landscape many times in the visions and dreams that have haunted you since the very beginning. Relay, the sunken island tomb of Cthulhu has risen to the surface. Water drains down the impossible angles of its rock formations, while deep sea flora and fauna lie scattered and dying around its landscape. The architects have succeeded. Oh man, you did not shoot the volcano hard enough, I guess. Um, what? All right, I think we got nine experience. Cause I think See, if I was allowed, if I was allowed to act of desperation, vicious blow the volcano like I wanted to. <laughs> then would have been even better but unfortunately the game rules don't permit this yeah that's rough all right so we got nine experience and uh two additional notice um the beard op opportunity missed for to say like you, if you're nine or more add three notice for no reason you know just just <laughs> to really get in there but that's fine all right and that's it uh we move move on to the last scenario tomb of dead dreams so Good stuff. What what did you think of this one, Dan? Uh, I had a good time. I liked so you know I had two sort of different maps. I liked both of them. The first one definitely um, how remind me. So there were six things we had to do. Each one basically we were trying to do in one turn. But was that synced up with the with the agenda at all? Like we had seven turns that that first round, right? Right. So we had one turn where we couldn't do anything, and then we had one turn on each thing. So but what I'm saying it, is, like, suppose we had taken more than a turn for one of those islands or whatever, then the, it would have... The agenda would have advanced before we finished, which I don't remember what that advancing did. Okay. But... Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. I, I didn't have a good sense of, like, how that would work. But, no, I, I think both parts were pretty fun. I like this map where it's, like, you can sort of run up the volcano, but then you immediately, like, banana peel, slide whistle noise, slide down the other side of it. Um, <laughs> was kind of fun. And uh, more non-Euclidean was neat. Gives you the sense of this like volcano made out of cubes, and it's so weird. 
Um, no, I, I, I had fun. What, what, what do you think? Yeah, uh, I enjoyed it. I liked all the the art um, and how the theme of like the space warping was happening. I liked Sukumen as a character, uh, who's just yeah. like you know you always cool. you always like the like the chill fisherman or whatever. That's like I like yeah, the, I'll help I like the big right? scary star spawn. That was awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I did want to look at this last location that the beard says we missed, which is a cultist gunboat. Whoa, <laughs> that does sound dope. Ah oh, man, you could take a fight action to fight the boat. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's i mean obviously that would have been fun well, it, the you know what what else is mark what else can mark fight boats volcanoes <laughs> can uh, obviously the the kaiser uh the, the nation of, of germany the axis uh, the central the central powers rather um you know mark's fighting sh abilities should not be limited to just actual like enemies you know mark should be able to fight anything um yeah no it's cool <laughs> i gotta say as far as the encounter deck goes so these um these these treacheries that like come into play and you can basically just get rid of it for one click your first action um and then not move that turn those were very easy for us to deal with but i think that's because we would we were never taking i don't think i did one move action this entire game because we just always have pathfinder and safeguard we have so like we have so much movement and healing yeah, that and, like... and shortcut so like it's not really fair like yeah for us they were basically trivial but i think maybe for a typical team they wouldn't be so i don't want to i don't want to criticize those I, mean, I, I think all classes have a way to do action compression stuff but i think at our, our point yeah it's uh not too because you, I mean, also, you definitely... also just let enemies hit you in order to trigger it which it, it could know. be it could be really bad if like you know suppose you have one of these and an enemy and you you can only deal with what like first click you if you get rid of this you get a would right like the, it, it could present interesting situations like that for you, sure you you did that again two or three times <laughs> well yeah because I just, I just didn't care right <laughs> yeah. so, but, and even that that even that was like just an optimization because like i could have just let you get rid of it first and then not take move actions but instead it was like no i i didn't have anything else to do so it was like let yeah. you get as many clues as possible so. I, feel, I feel like we well, have when did you get this down? Did we forget to put charges? I on totally forgot. About stuff? It. I mean, I, I got it down pretty late. It well, it might have flipped like right at the end. Yeah. You know, do you, it, does, it, does that volcano count as an enemy? Would you have gotten to steal its soul? I mean, or whatever? spiritually, like for Mark, when in Mark, <laughs> when Mark is keeping score, it counts as a very big enemy that Mark <laughs> defeated. But like, I think in gameplay wise, it does not count as an enemy. Uh, okay. Yeah, I uh, had a good time. Um, oh, I guess these enemies are specific to this one. These agents of the deep, but. I'm trying to remember if there was any other counter card that was super scary. The art, the art on this is all great. Um, also, the but, uh, the uh, FBI did a lot of work. Gotta say, <laughs> yeah. Have, was this like the eighth or seventh, sixth scenario in a row we didn't draw your counter intelligence and we drew mine, if, or counter assault or whatever? We, I feel like we've gotten we've gotten the guardian went out at least a couple of times, but yeah, it comes out less frequently. It's also it's also really not very hard to deal with. So yeah. Yeah, no, because we have so much skill pump too. It's like the five fight enemy could have been scary, but not for Mark. Yeah, yeah. Not Mark, you know, I, do you think Mark will ever will get put on the forbidden list? Do you think they would ever for like completely ban an investigator? I think Mark is the most overpowered single investigator in the game. I think that seekers as a whole are more OP. Um, but like that's just based on their card pool mostly. It's not based on like their investigator abilities. Yeah, but Mark... In terms of just investigator abilities and unique cards, Mark is the most overpowered investigator and in the game. Mark has access to all the tacker tactic seeker cards, which are apparently amazing. It is really funny that there's like five tactics in the game and three of them should be banned. That's really funny. <laughs> there's there's a lot more tactics than that, but <laughs> I mean five five non blue tactics. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, okay. yeah uh yeah all right had a had a great time thanks for hanging out with this beer the beer thanks for hanging out everybody else that was uh yeah. watching us live or on youtube uh yeah, looking looking forward to the uh, the big finale yeah i'm definitely very excited uh for that and uh i'm not I sure mean, we, we already fought a volcano and that wasn't even the last scenario yet so how how cool is the last scenario i mean I, the art on this implies we might get to finally fight cthulhu in this game after seven years or whatever six years and if anyone can do it it's mark harrigan <laughs> yeah i think so the yeah. next the next the final finale is a brain bender oh man well mm -hmm. is it because of all the math do you oh no is cthulhu gonna be uh, revealed to be like a mathematician and he's gonna like give us a test or something and that's, that's that'd be fun that's the, that'd be cool final scenario is explain how how uh 5d space works or whatever dan dad doctored in i don't know <laughs> uh all right that that that's it uh you follow us at social.mur.fm and 
um, like, subscribe, and all that. Uh, stay tuned for when we go live again uh, for the finale. Um, that's it, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.